Oh, I unmuted myself. I am still getting so used to a weird sort of slightly different start here on YouTube versus Twitch, but that is the part I continually forget, and it's like the most important piece. Anyway, I was just saying that I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Welcome to Elden Ring Randomizer Part 2. I'm excited to get back to it and see what other bosses are where they shouldn't be and how much I can get done. Let me just finish sending some tweets, some messages in various discords. There we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. What's up on a budget? What's up, Lewis? What's up, Eros? What's up, Daniel Lazar? Brad? Type zero. Or no, that's just capital O, isn't it? A zero would be thinner. Typeio. <laughs> uh, by the way, anyone, feel free to correct me on how I say your name. I will do my best to remember how you'd prefer to be called. How are you doing, Snake Solid? What is going on, Sunny? Good to see all of you. Happy Sunday. I hope you are doing well. What games have you been playing? How have your weekends been? How are you doing? Did you have to work today? Did it pass quickly? I hope everything is going well for everybody. How was your weekend? Mine is going all right. I have spent it editing video. There's a new Elden Ring highlights video from my first playthrough on my other channel. I think it came out really well. I, I hope you guys find it entertaining. And um, I've gotten a jump start on next weekend's video, but I'll tell you in a minute why that is, because at least while I'm talking about my weekend, uh, the other thing I've done is I've played about five hours now of Sons of the Forest, and it is, it's, Highly promising, I'll say. However, I'm probably not the person to review it either, because the forest... I was confused how to play the forest the one time I played it, with about nine friends, so we couldn't... It's very hard to get ten people to, like, do one thing together, so that was really weird and confusing. I didn't have any prep from the first game going into Sons of the Forest. Sons of the Forest is the same kind of thing where you should pay some attention and learn how to interact with creatures in certain ways, and my attention is shit, as many of you probably know. On top of which, um, I don't think this is a spoiler. If it is, it is an insanely minor one, but I'm pretty sure this is a gameplay mechanic that they advertised well in advance, okay? But if you're really worried about Sons of the Forest, cover your ears. This has nothing to do with, like, the plot, really, or anything. At the start, you're in a crash, and there's an NPC companion who survives and you can get him to help you. You can give him orders, fairly complex ones in some cases, to go do this or that to help you build and defend and whatnot. One of the two people I was playing with killed him immediately. So, I'm having a very different experience in the game than most people. But so far, I feel like there's big chunks missing and I'm not impressed with like the enemy AI too much or anything. They're just kind of an annoyance. I don't like interact, but the game's gorgeous, and I'm having fun chopping down trees and building a little house and things. I've enjoyed my five hours, but I don't know if I'm not made for the forest, or if it needs a couple patches, or if I just don't know what I'm doing. Anyhow. Any of you guys played it? Have you had a similar experience or a different one? How's it going for you guys? Big hug from Italy? Oh, thank you so much! God, I would love to go to Italy. I've been to... I was about to say Europe once. The truth is... Depends on who you ask, because I've been to the UK, <laughs> and I don't think the UK considers himself part of Europe anymore, and I don't know how Europe feels about them. So maybe at this point I have to say that I've never been to Europe. Certainly never been to Italy. <laughs> Currently playing Elden Ring? Hell yeah. Picked up Darkest Dungeon after watching your stream? Really? Have you played much? How is your first, uh, first go going? I'm really enjoying that game. I've got streams on Twitch which might be that game, I'm still deciding. Tomorrow and Tuesday, I think I'm probably going to play something else just to mix things up one or both those days. But I'm really enjoying Darkest Dungeon. I'm looking forward to getting back to it. Unfortunately, I'm in a rebuilding phase. Not the most exciting, but I enjoy that game. Love the highlight vids. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you do. Thank you for saying that. I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 and you love it. Hell yes. So like the first chapter of that is available right now, right? My friend Mondo's been playing it. He is not a longtime D&D player or anything like that. He didn't play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, but he's really enjoyed what he's played at 3. He said in particular the character creator is fucking great. So he's made um, like seven characters and played the first hour of the game with them just to keep trying the character creator and see what different classes are like. The trailers I've seen, Baldur's Gate 3 looks amazing. I love the aesthetic and everything and the graphics on it. 
Found your channel from the highlights, top tier content. Thank you so much for saying that, Lazar. I'm glad you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the live stream too. I so wish Elden Ring was like GTA, where you could join your lobby and mess with you. Hang on, I just wanted to check it was actually playing a song. So I could barely hear what's going on in the background. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I mean, normally you... Well, you can't really, can you? You can't stream snipe, can you? But even if it was possible to stream snipe, uh, I have no idea how to play online with mods. I know there are people that can co-op with Randomizer, but Randomizer kicks me off online. The way I've got installed, so... You're out of luck today. Apologies, friendo. What's up, DC? Hope you're doing well, friend. Five hours into Darkest Dungeon, start on the easiest setting. Loving Leper and Jester, both excellent, excellent characters. Absolutely love them, too. We're European, but not part of the European Union. Right, that's why it's... I guess it's because I hear people from the UK sometimes talk about, like, oh, blah, 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 about in the UK, but in Europe, as if they're not part of Europe. I'm never totally clear how individuals refer to it. Hello, howdy. Act 1's available. It's a lot of content for early access. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's play some Guess the Game. Let's play a little Guess the Game while I settle in. Then I've got a little bit of talking about this coming week. And then we'll play Elden Ring Randomizer. We're not far from it. But I always like doing this at the start of stream. I know some people enjoy it. I certainly love doing this and it helps me just relax and get ready for stream. What we need to do is guess the game shown in these screenshots. They will be obscure and highly cropped, though they'll get easier as we go along on an individual puzzle. Our only extra rule is if you 100% know the answer, please don't shout it out immediately. Give other people a chance to take some guesses, uh, but you can go ahead and be smug and be like, oh, I definitely know this one. I think you guys will be surprised you didn't recognize it because I knew it immediately. You can do that. But if you're 100% sure, don't give out your guess just yet. Anything less than that, go ahead, shout it out. Let's see if we can figure this out. So far, we have never, never been stumped. Is that a space dog in the background? In, in my background? That's Baxter, my little mascot. There he is. Baxter, my little space rabbit mascot going by. It's a lot of Baxters. Actually, that's one of the things we need to talk about after Guess the Game. After Guess the Game, we need to talk about the fact that this channel on YouTube is now partnered. Thank you all so much for the viewing hours and the shorts views. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll talk more about sort of some options and ideas uh, that uh, opens up after we guess the game and about a slightly odd schedule this coming week because I've got a corporate retreat thing. Congrats, thank you so much. Borderlands? Um, I guess I could see Borderlands. What is going on in this shot? It looks like we're looking through a little window at something. Is this like a vehicle? But what the fuck is it made out of? Why does it have that repeating pattern if this is like a vehicle we're looking out the front of? What is all this shit around us? Here, here, and here. Okay, is it Borderlands? I want to see a new image. I hit skip accidentally. <laughs> I didn't test if it's Borderlands, but I'm pretty sure from this that it's not Borderlands. Also, I almost feel like I know this, but if I'm right, I still don't know what this is. Is this Metal Gear Solid 5? It looks like Ground Zeroes to me. Not Phantom Pain, but it looks like Ground Zeroes. What the hell is this? Halo CE? Could be a Halo clone from the before times, not Borderlands. Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk mainly takes place inside that city, right? I've seen a couple screenshots that look like they're outside the city, but it all looks like desert. I've, I've never played Cyberpunk, so I can't be sure, but this doesn't immediately look like it to me. It's not colorful enough. Halo, I guess, but which Halo? We've guessed several Halos. We need a specific Halo. Also at Metal Gear 5 vibes. I, want, I really want to try Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm going to try Ground Zeroes instead of Phantom Pain. No, it's not that. They've given us this. Okay, this originally launched on PC and Xbox One. And we can see the mini map. And I don't know what this is. I 
I do not know what this is. Not Metal Gear 5, just Metal Gear. Just Metal Gear. The NES game? Or do you mean just Metal Gear Solid? The PS1 game. We now know that's not the case, but these aren't PS1 graphics. Titanfall 1. Launched on the 360, I believe. That doesn't quite sound right. Did it launch on the Xbox One? What's up, Shoto? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Hope your weekend's going well. How was the Sailor Moon today? Notes enemy facing on map. Seems like a sneaky game. It does. Wait. Something about those... Something about those arrows looks familiar. I feel like I've seen them before. I feel like I've played this. But I don't recognize the rest of the image. You missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope you were having fun. Or at least getting something done and fulfilled. Overslept because horror game until bedtime was a great idea. Samantha, all of you should go follow Shoujo at twitch.tv slash queenshoujo. Fantastic streamer. You occasionally get to really enjoy a horror stream, but they're all enjoyable. She's currently working on Persona 5, Bayonetta 3, and Ocarina of Time. All three of them. Even Ocarina of Time, her first playthrough. Go follow her. If you've got a Twitch account, go make a Twitch account. And follow her, and then me, on Twitch. Is this Sniper 4? With this, like, armor? And things? This looks like we're in the, the, the cockpit of, like, a mech. Or... Is it Titanfall 1? Because we had Titanfall 2 recently, right? If I already follow Shoujo, should I unfollow? Excellent question. No. I, that gets tricky, but I'm here to tell you don't. Just keep following. I feel like we guessed Titanfall 2 before. Did they put Titanfall 1 after it? They did? They've never done that before, but okay. Titanfall 1. Good shit. None of this would have helped me. Wow, they don't show you one of the mechs from the outside except for this far away. This is a more challenging one than most, but mainly I found it tricky because they already gave us- Where the fuck is this? I still don't know what that is. Anyway, whatever. Let's do another day. Let's do another day, Samantha. Day 194. If you want to play this yourself, by the way, that is the URL up top. It is guessthe.game. There's no .com, there's no dot. It's just guessthe.game. There's a new puzzle every day. Splinter Cell. Titanfall 1 was definitely Xbox One. Man, I thought it was older than that. I guess the console generations have just been longer than that. Longer than I thought, I mean. A perfect green. I know exactly what it is. This is uh, Hunt for the Red October. This is... No clue. Alien versus Predator? Absolutely. Alien versus Predator. Pardon? Metacritic score, 90%. A beloved game. Probably, not necessarily a well-known game, actually. But a well-reviewed game. I'm staring hard at this like something will come to me, and it is not. <laughs> Matrix! Oh, not Matrix. That is much more distinctive, right? You know? Something about the art reminds me of, um, no, nothing, actually. I was going to say World of Goo, though I don't think it's World of Goo, but actually, I'm mistaken, the art doesn't really remind me of World of Goo. Alice in Wonderland, Monopoly, Little Inferno. I've seen a screenshot of Little Inferno. In Inferno. It does have quite an art style, doesn't it? I don't know, I'll take that for fun. Little Inferno, is it Little Inferno? It is not. Original platform, the PC and the Wii. But that's probably okay. We're all in it together. Is it World of Goo? Got to be an indie game with that kind of picture and art style. Troll Face Quest? Was World of Goo on Wii? WarioWare. I don't think it's WarioWare. I don't think it's like Splat... This art... I don't think has been used in like any Nintendo first party game. I really want to try World of Goo. I hope I'm right. That would be amazing. But I don't have a lot of confidence. I would say like... 17.3% confidence. 
Holy shit. Wow. I 100% would have known it here. Shocking. <laughs> okay. We go again, one or two more. Oh, sorry. I forgot, it takes a second for this page to update, so you have to click one after. Um, oh, no immediate idea. Those look 3D rendered, but in a weird kind of way. They either just have no anti-aliasing, or they were done in 3D and then flattened into a 2D image, possibly. Anyway, it's a distinctive stylized kind of art, and I don't know. Worms? I don't think it's worms. It could be. It could be. You know, 80% more games than me? I'm, I just, I spend all day reading about games. I just surf games news sites and follow a bunch of like games journalists on Twitter and stuff. And so I end up seeing most games. Every time I open Steam, I scroll through whatever's newly announced and just look at screenshots of it, wondering if maybe I'd be interested in playing it. Maybe it'd be good for stream. So I end up seeing a lot of games and my memory is kind of bad for pulling them out at any time. But sometimes they come back out when my memory's jogged, sometimes. This hasn't though, no clue. What's up, Payne? Happy Sunday. Life is strange? Does Life is Strange look like this? Heavy Rain? Heavy Rain's more realistic than this, isn't this? But I like those suggestions because both of those have sort of like, you know, regular home life scenes that would have something like this. Not Life is Strange. Oh wait. I have an idea. I think this is a physics puzzle is a weird word for it, but kind of a physics puzzle game. The bread game? I think it's the bread game. I think it's I am bread. Exactly, Brad. My guess is I am bread. I am bread is a lot of fun. If you have a little bit of patience, go look up I am bread if you've never heard of it. Your goal is to become toast and you play as one piece of bread. And when you get really good at it, you can like sling your, you've got this weird ability to like grip with each of your corners and you can like sling yourself along walls, jumping and swinging, but it's a fucking challenge. Let's try I am bread. I have not tried I am fish, which I heard is good. It's not I am bread. Original platform PC, that's not helping me. What has a brick fucking sandwich in it? That isn't comedy game I am bread. And looks like this. What the fuck is this? Hi, Brad, I am pain. I don't think it's I am bread, and you're right. I too no longer think it's I am bread. Makes me think of the TF2 sandwich. Incredible that it wasn't I am bread. I guess there's more games with bread in them. I got no clue, man. No clue. You gotta be Metal Gear Solid, Katamari. I don't think it's Katamari, but I need another image, so I'm gonna pop in Katamari Damacy. Oh, wait. Hang on, I have an idea. Could it be Kentucky Route Zero? It's FF7R. What's up, Dominic? Happy Sunday. Tetris 99. Skyrim, I've eaten that exact sandwich. Could it be Kentucky Route Zero? Because this lighting looks very Kentucky Route Zero. That game is done. I should go out and play it again. Because I played it, they released it episodically, basically. And I played the first episode when they had it out. And it was an alright little point-and-click adventure game. Kentucky Route Zero. Kentucky Route Zero was a weirdly well-known indie game. I think it was like early on in the Steam green light system or something. I can't remember. It, it got a lot of attention for some reason, and it doesn't seem like a game that would immediately get attention. It's not bad though, I enjoyed what I played of it. I don't remember why it's pretty well known. Can't recall. All right, we're doing one more. I'm having fun, so we're doing one more and then we'll get to the randomizer. What is this? 
Ooh, I have a guess, but it's a game I've never played, and so uh, I'm a little hesitant. Um, <laughs> I'd give it like 30% confidence. But is it possibly, maybe, blasphemous? The side scrolling, souls like game? Elden Ring side scroller? I mean, you basically said the same thing I did. It's FF7R. It is higher resolution than an original FF7 background. I'll give you that. Elden Ring for the GBA. I can't see if it's pixely. That's its name, Hydro. I think you watched uh, Kev Do It play that. Blast form us. I think it's, I think I'm gonna guess Blasphemous. In one, never played the game. In one. Easy, easy guess. He knows his games. I'm just looking through to see if at any point I would have 100% absolutely known it. Here I would have. That's your character with the distinctive tall hat on. Here I would have known. Yeah, 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 yeah. This game looks pretty fun, but I know some of my friends have been like, eh, it's okay, and some have loved it, so maybe it's... I kind of want to play it at some point. I kind of want to play it at some point. How is our record doing? Undefeated. This screen delights me every time we look at it. Still undefeated. 237 up, 237 down. You would have got it at the third shot? Nice. Impressive. Why is Xbox One all in caps? Anyway, didn't enjoy it all that much. I remember you and Lister played it. I think Lister was more positive. I know it's like got... Medium high reviews. I don't know. It's all over the place. I'd do more research before playing it, but I'm kind of interested in doing that research and playing it. Good guessing, Samantha. Thank you so much for your help. Now then, just before we go to randomizer, let me tell you what's coming up this week and um, get your opinions on some things. Let's do that the other way around. Let's get opinions first. This channel, as I was saying earlier, just got partnered earlier on this week. Thank you all so, so, so much for your viewing hours, for your views on shorts. Uh, thank you again. And that means that there's various monetizations available. And I turned on some of them. For instance, super chats and super stickers are available here now. I don't know what they do. I've set up Streamlabs to treat them like donations, I think. But that's all very experimental. I don't know how they work, okay? So I'll do my best to figure all that shit out, but I'm not really sure. The other thing is they offer the ability to turn on a membership function. Um, akin to, I think, subscribing to a channel on Twitch. But I know many of you already watch on Twitch and you can make a decision whether or not you care to subscribe there, that's fine. So I'm not sure about doing another one, but it would let me do things like, I believe, put custom emojis here with little Baxters and stuff if people want that. So if anyone has a strong feeling Either way, I would be curious to hear it because I don't know how I feel. At the least, I didn't want to turn them all on at once and just cut show up and be like, what's up? Last week there was nothing. This week there's seven ways to spend money on me. Happy to have you here. What can I sell you? I didn't want to do that. But I'd be curious to hear if anyone has experience with and likes, dislikes, sees the value in, especially for someone who's already on another platform, doesn't see the value in for a streamer who's on another platform already. Any of those things, all right? I hate paywalls, so it wouldn't be a paywall in that you wouldn't not be able to see my videos or my stream or my shorts. It would be that you could support me and in return get some emojis here in chat, as well as I think I would be allowed to make like, I could publish videos or posts only paying members see, but I've got no plans to do that. Almost certainly no videos. I can't make enough videos for people to enjoy without them paying me. I couldn't possibly make extra videos for the people that were paying me, so don't worry about that shit. It would just, yeah, it would be, basically, as far as I can tell, the only thing I'd expect to offer would be custom emojis. <laughs> Shoujo, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Why didn't my thing go off? Streamlabs? What the fuck's wrong with you? God damn it. Hydro's a cool dude, and I'm proud to call him friend. You're much too sweet. I appreciate that, Shoujo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I just tested this. You motherfucker. Hydro is a cool dude and I'm proud to call him a friend. It's just delayed. It's simply delayed. That's what it is. Okay. I wonder if I can make that a little faster somehow. Shoto, thank you. That's exceptionally generous. I appreciate that. And thank you as well for being the test case so I can see how fucking delayed it is. Anyway, anyhow. Hmm. Could make live stream chat members only also. I could. I, I'm not planning on doing that. I want people to watch these for... In fact, I could monetize these streams with ads. And I'm uh, the kind of person who generally think ads are okay compared with paying for things. But I would rather not do that during a live stream. Well, that happened faster. Project Gelther, thank you so much for the $5. And the little bravo, Shiba. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What was I saying? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I could have enabled, like, ads during this stream, but I decided not to because during the live stream, um, I don't want them showing up in the middle of a boss fight and people to miss something fun happen, like a death or a win, you know? But you can expect there to be some ads to show up, largely skippable ones during, like, videos and things. And I'm going to be uploading more videos. Let's transition to the other thing I wanted to say. Actually, let me read your messages, then I will. Congrats on the partnership. Thank you so much. God damn, dude. Testing. Yeah, you guys are really testing this. Also, Shoto seems to have warmed it up. That was so much faster than before. EK, thank you so much for the $10. I appreciate that. Thank you for being part of the test group. Could make live stream chat. Yeah, I've seen other streamers do additional members-only streams. Here's the thing. I do play some games outside of stream time, but I don't know if I could do it regularly. I don't know if I could do it for a while. And moreover, if I turned that game playing into like a members only stream, you'd all have to really just like me for me. I'm not sure I'd be able to give it as much as I do normally. Now this is me, but I'm obviously, I'm being outward and extroverted and so on. A members only stream, if I just made it some of the time I'm playing games other than what I do on stream right now, might just be like, oh, well, that's cool. Do you think we go over here? Oh, that guy's really strong. Like, it would be a lot more chill. I've got no idea if people are interested in that. You know what else is delayed? Green carrots? Fuck you. You're right, though. You are right. I'm sorry. What's up, nasty exotics? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. You should get Comet Azure. I don't know what that is. And we're playing a randomizer. So if it's an item in Elden Ring, I don't know where it is, and neither do you. So we'll see if we find it. YouTube ads are more digestible than Twitch ads. Okay, with ads before you see the live stream, but not popping up is Exactly. So, if anyone sees an ad during the stream, let me know, because I believe I've turned them off. I, it, it forced me to enable showing ads on the same page, but not on this, not here. Not, not in my little glass box. If they show up here in the video, let me know. I'd be curious. Anyway, um, how do I transition to what I was talking about? Oh yeah, I, sorry, we'll get to the game in a second. I just wanted to say this coming week will be a little bit light on streams, okay? We're still gonna do this YouTube stream next Sunday, 6 p.m. Uh, New York City time, same as today. But I usually stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or I aim for that on Twitch during the week. This week, I'm going on a corporate retreat thing from Wednesday through Friday, so, I'm expecting to stream Monday, Tuesday, and I may try to do a bonus stream Friday or Saturday. We'll figure that out, but just Monday, Tuesday. Darkest Dungeon, or I've got a bunch of other games I mean to install and maybe try out, like Neo 2. It'd be a bit weird to play Neo 2 when Wo Long's about to come out. No reason not to, but a bit weird. FF9, Jedi Fallen Order, Mortal Shell, XCOM, Invis Inc. I gotta look through that. Uh, but those two streams, now, because of that, partially to make up for that, but also because I want to see if people would be interested in watching them, and I'm going to put ads on them. I uploaded to this YouTube channel nearly 22 hours of video yesterday. I uploaded my six Alien Isolation streams from my first playthrough of Alien Isolation in full because it was a really fun time. I know it's not the same as viewing live, but I think I'm going to schedule those to go up one a day Monday through Saturday. So if you're looking for, got a fuck ton more content this week, I should have a lot going up. After that, I'm thinking of uploading my three days of Outer Wilds. I'm gonna start uploading VODs 
close to when they're out on Twitch, so Darkest Dungeon will show up soon. You're gonna, you should start to expect to see lots of long VODs show up here. If you like the shorts and the live streams, I hope they don't get too much in the way of your suggestions page, but I hope some of you were excited by that idea. Okay, thank you for letting me talk through all that. We did a very long preamble. We'll get to Elden Ring now. And thank you for your opinions on things like memberships and so on. Song incoming, he likes me for me. Comet Azure is the big laser sorcery. We might get it at some point then. Oh wait, actually, did I already see that? No, okay, Selen had some really incredible sorceries for sale. The randomizer makes sure that someone who normally sells incantations still sells incantations, just random ones, same for sorceries. So she had sorceries and she had some excellent ones, but she didn't have Comet Azure. Anyway, I'll look out for it because we're building cement. Excited to watch Alien Isolation VODs? I think people will enjoy them. That game had a lot of surprises for me. Coffee House Glory Hall when? I just got partner. How quickly are you trying to get me banned here? Good TED talk. Would love VODs? They, they, most of them will start going up. I may make exceptions in certain cases, but generally I think I'll save VODs from now on. All right, thank you so much, PlayStation 1 Music. Specifically, this is Dungeon Theme 2 from Ultima Underworld. The Stygian Abyss. But that's enough from you. Let's head over to this screen and see if I can remember how to start the randomizer correctly. I think we use this file. Please, God, let my save file still work and all that. Mods obviously, like, break if you have an update a lot of times. So I'm, like, so worried about losing this run at some point. Because of, uh, because of, uh, you know, an update. It, it should capture someday here. Hello? Will you fucking catch up over here? Capture any full screen application. Right. Okay, fine. Capture specific window. Elden Ring. I tested this just before going live. That music? I'm glad you enjoy that music. It's a music only stream. Give me a second, I'm sorry. Hey, thank you so much for the subscriptions. Wonderful to have you here. Hope you're enjoying yourself. It's just telling me inappropriate activity detected, starting in offline mode. This is upsetting. Hang on. Let me close the game and reopen it. Why game? Why? It's starting again, supposedly. Supposedly. Let's start the PS1 music up again while I work on this. It's starting again, supposedly. All right, troubleshooting time. Check task manager really quick to see if it's actually running or not. Don't think so. Okay. Now capture. I'll stop the PS1 music in a second, but I don't want to click out while it's loading. I'm getting- it's getting all the way to the menu before I click out and stop this music. Okay. Go ahead, tell me I can't go online. Inappropriate. Welcome to the inappropriate stream. Good shit. Good shit. All right, thank you Disney's Tarzan for the music. We made it, everybody. Good patience. Woo. Is this background the 8-bit version of Ronnie's ending? Yeah. Music gives me goosebumps. It said what? Recently started watching your content. So much fun to watch. Keep up the good work. Thanks for keeping us entertained. Thank you so much for saying that, Wacko Hacko. 
Glad you appreciate it. Uh, enjoy it. Appreciate sounds pretentious for some reason. Anyway, thank you. This and the theme to Civ 4 might be my favorite music moments in gaming. Civ 4 was the, uh, Baba yet do yet do do yet do yet do. That one, right? I wouldn't want to fucking Grammy that song. Hit enough buttons and it will surely work. Uh, if you didn't get to see when we made our character meet our character, this. <laughs> this is the Molding Sky. That is their name. The Molding Sky. They are the most wretched. Look at their body hair. The most wretched, wretched, wretched wretch to ever walk this earth. And that is a competition in the world of Elden Ring. But they maintain beautiful hair. That is where all of their pride and self-worth go into their hair. You caught up? That's the lore. You're the guy I keep seeing on YouTube reels. I'm that guy. I hope you've been enjoying them. Happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is a randomizer. Once again, for anyone who missed the uh, first first stream of it last week, let me show you who is in Margit's place. I also want to remind myself if we are even close to being able to fight them yet, or if we have to wait some time. Here we go. So it's a bit weird. He is scaled down a little bit. I say a little bit, he's scaled down. This is not the strength of Fire Giant, it should be, but. I didn't realize that was attack for a sec. I got really lucky, I was able to dodge in time. I need the bleed to go off. This is a bleed weapon. You fucker. Don't do this shit! I forget what that attack does, but I hope it's not one that homes. Oh shit, a lot's happening. Help. The luckiest dodge! The timing! Why does he sound like Margit? Fuck! He's right about those foolish ambitions. This is the run? We did pretty well. Did I proc a bleed at any point there? Uh, pomegranates, did I get a bleed at any point? I didn't notice one. Get ganked by Margit? You have no idea how much I wish it was, Margit. But we'll figure this out. His health's not too bad. Not too bad. So they're non-binary? Who's non-binary? First time catching a stream. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm having a fantastic weekend so far. I hope you are as well, Morkai. That you enjoy the stream. Good to have you here. Do you generally stream on YouTube or are you normally on Twitch? I'm mainly on Twitch. Right now, the schedule I aim to keep is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings, New York City evenings, on Twitch, and Sunday evenings here on YouTube, like right now. Uh, YouTube isn't going well, though. I may expand it to be more like two and uh, three and two, or just add a whole day and do four and two. We'll see. But that's the that's the schedule right now. They're not called the Loathsome Mossy River or whatever. Your character looks like an angry Smurf. We've been talking about Smurfs, Captain Planet, Lemmings. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot here. Margaret looks a little different. Margaret had a glow up. They had a grow up for sure. Love watching your videos. Thank you so much for saying that. Saskatchewan fishing. Glad you enjoy them. Not EST evenings, just NYC. Like, NYC, we got our own bit of time here, okay? All right, yeah, yeah, it's based on Eastern. It's like Eastern, but it's kind of our own thing, all right? We're, New York City's not like other places. You can just summon Rajay and you can do it. Oh my God, I can summon someone, I can. You're right. Hello. Rajay. Rajay? What did you do to Renala? Where did you get that hat? You can cast. 
The tick? Spoon! Blue and green should never be seen unless there's a giant scythe in between. <laughs> Who'd have thought the fire giant had such a mild-mannered voice? I see people dull stream and YouTube at the same time. Oh, double stream. Right, right, right. Yeah, I... Mm, mm, I've seen that. I won't say more about it than that. More God on stilts. City bike torrent mod when? <laughs> First time here. What's up, Envy? I hope you enjoy it. I always wait for your next video and just realized I'm not subbed. Well, thank you so much for, for showing up. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Just came back and there's an oddish on my screen. That's a new one. All right, let's try again with Roger. See how it goes. Shard bearer Roger. Totally Captain Planet. He's just had a rough few centuries. Oh, I forgot I made the eyes so red. Like the sclera. They are the most wretched creature. The most wretched. All right, come here, fucker. God, I wish I had a staff so I could use glint blade against you. Get some hits in, Roger! Cast your spells! Don't be afraid, Roger! You have spells, don't you? There we go. What's happening? Yeah, the giant doesn't even know who he's attacking in an arena this size. Shit! Fuck. I was trying to dodge, but I started way too late. I'd already queued up the attack. Might as well top off. Roger has got way more vigor than I do. Don't do it. You motherfucker. At least he can't get too far away. You guys were right about that being a blessing. Fucking hell! You son of a bitch! Is his AI, like, if near, then roll, and he can't get far from us, so it's always roll? Oh my god, I think that's what's happening. I think that's what's happening. Except for now, when he's gonna blow us up. Timing! You said something was on the floor by the fog door? Oh shit, I forgot to pick these up. Roger, no! Oh! I got bigger problems to worry about. You fuck. There we go, there we go. Go over the edge! <laughs> He's trying. He doesn't want to be here anymore either. Is the heat seeking one? Fuck! Foolish ambitions to rest. The tight space does start working against me at that point. Why's my forehead so shiny? So pretty shiny. We might want to upgrade our weapon or something before trying that again. Are you rolling? You're just fighting a giant pair of legs, basically. Sometimes a huge dinner platter comes smashing down, but mainly I just see the legs. Rest easy, king. Sometimes a pelvis. It's about how useful I'd be in this fight. Giant must have never skipped a leg in core day to fight with one leg always outside the arena. Wouldn't have thought that's what the fire giant's voice sounded like. Me neither. 
Fire Giant putting ambitions to rest feels bad, man. Our weapon spawns random as well. Yes. So enemies, wep uh, items, and bosses are all randomized. There's a couple limitations. It will bias things a bit towards being in the part of the game they're supposed to come from or near it. So like something that was originally in uh, Limgrave is slightly more likely to be in Limgrave than anywhere else and slightly more likely to be in Liurnia than further away than that. You get me? But it's pretty random. And uh, I think that important items are only shuffled with other important items. But that doesn't just mean boss items. Something that dropped from a boss could now be on an Elden Ring sapling, an er Erd Tree sapling that used to give like a golden seed. There's a lot of things that count as important, but there are some logical limitations like that. You know what I mean? Maybe search for a staff. That's a good idea. Where can I go searching for a staff? Here's what we've done so far. Plus we've walked around here a little bit, as you can see, I guess mainly just down here. We could go do the east side of this. We could go to Southern Limgrave. I think we should go get some more items. Artist Shack. Death Touched Catacombs. What's across this bridge? It doesn't go directly into Kaled, right? There's a little space there, isn't there? How about you don't fight that ever? I was about to say I have to to get through, but actually that's not apparently the case. People have told me there's another way through. I don't happen to know it, so... Are Seeds and Tears randomized too? Yeah. Yes, they are. Shopkeeps are randomized. As you saw from Rajir's clothes, it doesn't mean anything, but NPCs' outfits are randomized. Actually catching a stream, it's one of my favorite mods as well. What's up, Ozymandiath? That is such a good screen name. Happy Sunday, hope you're doing well, friendo. A pair of pants wouldn't hurt. I would love pants. Game hasn't given them to me yet, but I would love pants. How many more first playthrough vids are coming? Well, let me see. I got up through the start of the clip number 1300. I think the last clip in the video that came out yesterday is 1311, and I have 2,985 clips. Holy shit. I thought we were halfway through. We're not quite halfway through. Oh my god. There are some things that I think will go a bit faster, even though I have more clips of them coming up. So we may be halfway through, but there's a bunch. There's a bunch more videos coming. First actual live stream I've caught, and I love seeing you play more casually than some of the other people that have watched to take this game way too seriously. I appreciate that. I know what you mean. I enjoy watching some games seriously, some streamers play seriously, but I absolutely watch people play some games or some specific streamers way more casually. I'm glad you enjoy that. How many more? Uh, sorry, I just read that. Castle Morn, maybe? That's in Southern Limgrave, right? We should go there. Let's do this first, and then we'll go down there. There's like an item on this bridge, isn't there? We should fight for it. And there's like a jump down, if I remember right? Yeah. So we could go down if I want to. But I think actually what I should do is maybe get the map for this area. Stormhawk Feather. I think that's for crafting arrows. I don't remember. Didn't use them much first try. Caleb has a lot of staffs. More likely to find one in Caleb. Slightly, yes. However, I'm also really fucking likely to die in Caleb. But I'll consider it. I do really want a staff. We'll see. Have you tried Horizon? I have played Horizon Zero Dawn twice. I really love it. I really want to play Horizon Forbidden West. And my plan was to stream it. I'm not sure how many people want to watch it, though, just because one playthrough to, not, to another are pretty similar. So, you know, I'm not sure how big an audience there is. Maybe I'll play it on my own instead. But I already own it. I'm waiting for the DLC, and then I think I'll do one big playthrough of the whole thing. And once the DLC's out, which I think is April, is it next month? No, two months from now. We're close to March, but it's not March. I think it's coming out in April. We may talk about if I should st Hi, crab, stream that or not. Hi, Envoy. Mm, now here's something interesting. Oh, I won't, I'm not Faith, so I don't want an Envoy horn anyway. But I don't know if enemies drop random things or drop their own loot. 
So I don't know if that envoy has a chance of dropping an envoy horn or not, for example. No clue. First time watching a live stream of you, it's so good to have you here. Devin, hope you enjoy yourself. Hidden object in Kale's church, all right. I don't know where Kale's church is. Let me kill these things. DLC for Horizon Forbidden West, I believe, is coming out in April. It's basically March. It's basically March. Doot, give him the fucking doot doot! You got real health on you. Despite scaling. Uh, do you bleed? You get knocked the fuck over. One down. Two to go. That's, uh, that enemy I don't think is a big problem, so let's kill the envoy first. The envoy's AI didn't- I didn't even see you. Are you invisible? Did the envoy's AI activate- not activate? You fuckhead. No shit, he's coming again. Duding Moog was meme worthy. I was I was basically just trying to like fuck around when I was fighting Mar Morgoth. It was necessity for Moog, and that weapon's actually so good. I never got one of the bigger ones, but the small one is pretty good. You'll see that in later clips because that becomes a regular staple of boss fights I'm having trouble with, or just when I want to play with it. There's a hidden item in Kale's church. You need one of the giant enemies to hit the entrance. Well, hopefully there's a giant enemy around. Who's this? Is this story? I don't remember this character. I don't remember this event. And it's really hard to tell what's going on because it, the randomizer changes all their clothes, so I don't know who that is. There's no mistake, is there? Hello. Death has left its mark once again. Who are you? Are you D? Because you got the sword? Or do you just have D's sword? Who are you? I'm sorry. I cannot give you your proper rights. But at least you did not join those who live in death. Your soul will return to the Erd Tree. In time. Honeyed rays of gold. Deliver this spirit. It is D? Well, you guys want to see D's face? Piercing eyes. Beautiful eyes. He could give me the D. Sorry, what? Um. Ah, a tarnished, are you? I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Okay. Heed my warning. The village here has been come again. He could. Death. Sorry, what? And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. He warns you about the mariner. It's not the hardest thing, and I think I actually ran away instead of dying to it. But I distinctly remember going down into that town and the mariner just going, Rah! and I was like, fucking hell, the first time. Damn it. The village here has been touched by death. Turn back while you still can. His voice is so familiar. I mean, uh, if you've heard D, that's his voice because it's a D. But I think they also sometimes reuse voice actors for multiple characters in the game. Maybe he voices a couple people. I don't know. The village here. Turn back. Okay, yeah, that's all you have to say? Fair enough. So he killed this person because they've been touched by death and then apologized for not being able to give them the last rites. And then he warned me about, hey, there's grace down there, going down into this place. I should go get the map eventually, so let's place a marker there, so I remember. There's a dragon. Instead of... Well, I don't know, that could be instead of a regular undead. That's really uncool. My voice characters in past Souls games. 
80 viewers and 31 likes. Let's get these likes up, people. Everyone hit the like button. I mean, I would appreciate it, but I don't want to. I don't want to beg for likes. You like if you like it, Samantha. Oh, it's not a dragon. It's a magma worm. I just saw the red lines by the front of the head. That's so much better. Enemy on a horse over there. This giant thing hanging around trying to fuck with me. Get away. I don't have the weapon to fight you. Waiting. Patiently. Fuck. Fuck! My one chance and I got the distance wrong. These enemies don't seem to attack you like 90% of the time. I never really understood them. Way too high up. Okay, we're just gonna bet you don't attack me and I'm gonna keep going. Never mind, wait! Cut my moment! Good shit. That is shit. The first magma worm to discover water. Dragonfly is the hardest boss in the game. He's bugging out. 10 out of 10. You can't usually backstab people on horses, right? Still, I'd kind of like to get the drop on that enemy because they look maybe the most annoying out of the ones I can see in here. The three I can see. Uh, Problem is, I can't come up behind them over here, can I? No, I cannot. We're gonna have to go at their face. Shit. Alright. No worries. We good? Alright, cool. Oh, thank god, you're one of the nobility or whatever. The un undead nobility who doesn't like fighting. That's why you didn't attack me in the middle of it. You know what, you can live, you're annoying. I'm not waiting for all that to settle down, are you kidding me? Apparently the guy who plays D hasn't been in a ton of games, but he was in a bunch of episodes of Vikings. Oh, really? I've had a couple people recommend that show to me, but I've never, I've never watched it. There we go. Out of the way. Nothing to show for it. It's crazy to me that Tibia Theodorix. Crazy to me that uh, whatever it was, Tibia Mariner, warrants this thing being here. I don't have the damage for this. Dude, we need to go. I haven't upgraded my weapon. I can summon. Wait. Night Maiden and Swordstress. Hearken to me. Assist me now in my time of need. Shit. Night Maiden and Swordstress, assist! Which way is that going? But also at some point, love to get a bleed on him. Fuck me! Fuck me! I'm out of heals too. Oh! No, wait! Night Maiden and Swordstress, finish it! You've got this, finish him! What the shit? You've got this! They may not have this, but you've got to talk them up, you know? Okay. Could I get those uh, runes and then get the fuck out of here? Because no. Mm -mm. I wonder if Sleeping Dragon will spawn somewhere else. I believe it is one-to-one -one for like bosses. Like if you will see every boss at some point if you go do every boss area. I don't think they'll, like, double anything up and leave it something else out. Yeti out of nowhere. Where were they even fucking hiding? There's the wolf. I don't see the Yeti back there. Okay, fuck off, wolf. I don't want to deal with you. 
We'll come back here when we have, like, an upgraded weapon and hopefully a staff. But I've got some other fucking shit to do. Do I want to go down this way? I don't think I do. I think I want to go this direction. We're still, unfortunately, at the phase where we're just sort of gathering items in a handful of starter levels. Since, you know, we can't rely on the game giving us appropriate early gear for the way we play or anything. Hello. What's this? Oh, it needs a, uh... It needs, um, one of those keys. Do I have one? No, I don't. I could buy one. We should write this down. Where is this? This is... Summon Water Village. Okay. 1x stone sword key for summon water village in Limgrave. I need to remember where I haven't checked that's likely to have loot later once I have a key and need places to look. Will there be five other bosses where the sleeping dragon should be? Maybe. Unsure. There should be a grace in this church. Oh, there's an invasion by that church, though. Let's wait on that. Let's wait on that. Let's go around this way. Hey there. Would you like to get stabbed in the back? Oh, shit. Okay. This is happening now. Fuck you. Where's your back? I was trying to backstab him. Fucking hell. This was not a good fight to get into. There's your back. Now how much bleed damage can you take? Oh my god. Damn it! That had to be like a frame or two away from getting healed before the Scarlet Arrow killed me, right? A frame or two. Fuck me, dude. Do you have the round table? I do have the round table. Okay, that guy's not really a wise fight yet. God, I just need some basic armor and stuff. That guy's not a bad fight, but I've got to be on top of it to kill him, and he won't give us loot necessarily. So let's just get by him for now. Did you check the wet blade chest in the first ruins outside the castle gates? The wet blade chest in the first ruins outside the castle gates. I'm not sure where you mean. Outside Stormvale's gates? This guy's harder than Godric? Who the fuck is this guy? I don't think I ever saw him. I think he's a mini boss. I believe there's a small chance for like mini bosses or even bosses to spawn in normal enemy areas. I remember seeing this guy as a mini-boss a few times. I don't recall if you can find him outside of, like, mini-boss rooms, you know, catacombs and stuff. Yes, I don't think I got that. I remember stopping at the, like, fucked-up house with a sight of grace, and there's the woman there who's like, he keeps adding arms to himself and even people's heads and whatnot. I talked to her, and I got loot around there, but there wasn't a chest, I don't think. What's going on down here? I don't recognize what all these enemies are, but there's an item there. So are the envoys just... Okay, they aren't friendly or anything. The last one just didn't hear me coming or whatever. Arrow, you're just a slug. That's why you were pulsating and being weird. Hello? Kukri. Anyone know if slugs normally carry kukris? I thought you were going to lift it up! I was waiting for you to lift it up! Forgot how you work. 
Okay, what you got for me? Arteria leaf, fine. Pants, pants! Oh, thank you for the pants. Was there a bear pulling the cart? Whatever, I got pants. And as soon as it realizes I'm not fighting anything, I'll put them on. That's the wrong menu anyway. I haven't picked up headgear yet, right? Nope. Good shit. Bad shit. That's a fat roll. So long and thanks for all the pants. Big poise pants. That's a fat roll. Do I have a lighter weight chest piece? Still heavy load. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough stuff. Okay, well, we'll have to figure something out. That's what she said. A lot of weird shit going on up there. I could backstab you, I would love that, but I do see the misbegotten who might interrupt everything. Good shit. How much poise you got, friend? <laughs> How slow was your attack, friend? At least bleed finally killed him. Bold maneuver, let's see how it uh, plays out for him. Jump and hit? Do you have any idea how much energy that takes? I'm fat rolling. You trying to get me to pull a leg muscle? It's a hidden item in Kale's church, you need a giant. I read that. You can stop telling me. I don't know where Kale's church is. <laughs> Heavy load, and that's what she said, will make a great clip. Oh hey, you could be something really important. What are you? Are you really important? Pants that I probably won't fat roll in! Welcome to uh, part two. The pants stream. Go to the portal behind the church. No, I'm not taking advice. We gotta find things here in Lingrave first. I appreciate people trying to help, but you have no idea what's waiting for me when I go there, so... Let's look around here, where hopefully it's skewed towards slightly easier enemies. And we can get the basics together for a build at a few levels, you know? Are you gonna do the Stormvale skip? No, because I don't know what the Stormvale skip is. I've heard there's one, I have no idea how it's done. Besides, I wanna kill the uh, fire giant. All right. I'm begging you. Be something amazing. No? Yes. Is this usually where you pick that up? The value of the randomizer is lessened a little bit by my inability to remember what the game was actually like. Anyway. Promise I won't be helpful. I appreciate that. You little monster, I appreciate that. Hydra proceeds to get nothing but pants for the next four hours. At least we'll have options. We could do molding pants as a redeem instead of hat deli this time around. God, that's a real serious dragonfly. Let's go this way to get the uh, map. Are there any items just scattered on the beach? Usually. Doesn't look like it. And I see that skeletal archer. That's a huge fucking thing. I don't remember those things normally in the game. Interesting. Interesting if true. Well, I hope health class helped that kid. 
Maybe they just seen, maybe they were asking what sounds like a really dumb question because they'd seen that Simpsons episode where the doctor tells Mr. Burns he has like every disease, but they're just in perfect balance and so none can take over and finish its work killing him. And they didn't know better, maybe. Fashion show. Is this live? This is live, Sag. Happy Sunday, hope you're doing well, friendo. It's pre-recorded and I'm just extremely prescient. <laughs> is, is it a funny enough gag to be worth the brain power if I try to mix in realistic responses to messages I'd expect, but that no one has typed for the rest of the stream? Or is that really an awful idea? Uh, about six feet, just over six feet tall. No, I used to have a Prius, but I don't have a car now. I was thinking of one recently. I kind of want the freedom of one, but, um, you know, it's hard to keep them here in the city. Good question, though. Can blame stream delay, too. I'd like it. It's a terrible idea, but yes, do it. Do you want to just come after me? I don't have a range attack yet. I'd appreciate it if you came to me. Who is he talking to? I'm talking to you, Sack. If you go to these ruins, then talk to Kale, you get a whistle emote to talk to Blythe. Oh, I know that part. Boom. We'll be doing that, especially as I fucked up Blythe so badly in my game, the first playthrough. But we're doing other stuff at the moment. We're just getting the map right now. May prompt chat to ask horrible questions. That's true, there could be downsides here. I can't say I've properly considered every angle. That's what she said, talking to tomorrow's chat. <laughs> Both awful and incredible, that's what I strive for. Usually I achieve one or the other, usually one. Usually I absorb all your content through the shorts where you make horrible mistakes, so this is a refreshing change. Well, I'm glad you find it refreshing, that's good. Yeah, where you get to make it watch and make horrible mistakes live instead. There's an air tree around here, right? This is an air tree, isn't it? Sure looks like it. It's a little surprising. The fog in Mirkwood, I can't remember the name of this area, is thick enough that the air tree's gold doesn't shine through. This little miniature air tree sapling doesn't shine through. Do I need healing? No. Well, I could top off and then it's just a tiny bit, but I might as well. Minor air tree, that's it, not sapling. Come down here. Thank you, and you. Go away. All right, where's the loot for this air tree? What's the best way to sort Lego? You're currently going with color matching. Ooh, I would say Ooh, it depends on the size of your collection, first of all. Aired Steel Dagger, Golden Rune 3, okay. But for a reasonably sized collection, I think color is not a bad way. Um, If you're super serious, it may be, and have like a massive set, it may be better to go with collection, like all the Lego City together and all the Lego Star Wars together and stuff. I'm not sure though. All of our Lego always just went into giant bins that we would pour out on the floor. This one doesn't have loot? Oh, it does. Matched by pain. <laughs> Matched by pain. These are the most painful to step on. These are the second most painful to step on. These are the least painful to step on. It's mainly minifig heads. First time catching you live, been really enjoying your shorts. You must have put your first 25 levels IRL into Charisma, my friend. You're much too kind. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying them. If you're hanging out, I hope you enjoy the live stream as well. But thank you so much for coming by to say that, at the least. Brick size, like 1x2, 2x2. You'd have so many bins then. Okay. Let's go to those ruins. Where Blythe will eventually be. Hello. Oh, it's a uh, Fulgur Bloom. 
It hadn't quite loaded, and I didn't know what it was for a second, so I thought it was something special I'd forgotten existed. 30 years of random kits that was in a giant bin I poured out on the floor. Oh, then by color is probably a good way to do it. I su support by color. Am I allowed to do the thing yet? I don't know how to snap yet, do I? I don't know how to snap yet. Ah, crap. Steak of America? That is a Steak of America, right? I always confuse that and the summoning one, but I'm pretty sure that's a Steak of America. Hello there. Um, Let's try and get behind that guy. Go to hell. He howled. No, I don't have it, but you heard the whistle. It's your cousin's birthday day, loves your streams. Could you give him a shout out? No, I can't. Not by name, but I'll say happy birthday. Hello there, what have you got? Mm, unexciting. Which isn't a word. Anyway, not what I wanted. Hello, what are you? Woo! Is that good? I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Strength int! It's strength int! That's not bad! Great sword forged from blue white meteoric ore, the blade conceals gravity manipulating magic. A weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who were said to have risen. My skin is stone! My skin could be stone! Well, tell everyone this is Lapis Lazuli! This is perfect! Are we strength int build? So I think we're gonna be primarily. It depends on what we find as we go, but I think we're gonna try to be. Primarily int, and then secondarily strength or dex, depending on what gear we found and how we want to use it. I think that's what I'm planning right now. 126 plus 25. And bleed. 128 plus 26, and 38 minus 15 is 23. So this is only a little more, and it doesn't do the bleed, but it is a little more. It's a, it's a great sword, okay. We also have the Inseparable, but that's a faith weapon. We'll have to look at these later. But I think we'll work towards the Alabaster Greatsword, possibly. It seems fun. I didn't read the rest of it, actually. What's its uh, abilities? I'm getting distracted. <clears throat> a race of ancients with skin of stone who were said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Alabaster Lord's Pull. Thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well, in addition to dealing damage to the attack pulse enemies in, has a greater area of effect than Gravitas. Doesn't sound like the most exciting ability, but it could be cool. I'll try it out. Show me the location of the map, please. There it is. It's here. We are here in Limgrave. Near the minor aired tree. By the time you meet the requirements of the greatsword, the scaling will be better. What were the requirements? Wrong button again. 16-18, and I have... I need one strength, four int. I need five levels. That's not too bad, but we're not right there. Skill on that is uh, nice, and greatsword is nice. How's the Molding Sky's hair doing? Still fabulous. You wouldn't think that you could keep it this lustrous and straight out in the woods, but we only have a few flyaways. Still beautiful. We must protect it. It's all we have. Now people watching the highlights later are going to be like, did someone ask him about his character's hair, or is that one of the things he's pretending someone typed? I'm lost. And right now I'm not going to tell them. If you give away my position, you little mosquito. 
I'll be so mad at you. New Hydro meta. What if forever I said mosquito the way Sam says potatoes? Mosquitoes. Slap them, swear at them. They suck up your blood. Mosquitoes. Heresy. Quite the character arc for Hydro the Inquisitor. Holy shit. Okay. What's going on around here? Oh my good lord! Wrong side. Come on. Shit. I know my health is really awful, but they were so close to dead! I wanted to end them. Thank you! Fuck! We're good, we're good, we're good, right? Okay. That seemed easy, and then it got really worrisome, and then it, then, ugh, pulled it out at the end. That worried me. Not the dog. If I could help it, I would, but unfortunately dogs are a common enemy in these games. Back up, back up! Fucking hell. Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, shit. And then that other guy over there just noticed me. Are you one of the ones that reassembles? You are. So we have to hit you an extra time so that you don't. I think I'm just gonna get this item and then leave you alone. Oh, I don't like those enemies very much. Shit, it gets worse! It gets really bad in here! <laughs> These arrows! Never mind, we're leaving. I do want to know if there's any items around here, but I can't afford to fight you guys. I'm losing health from poison anyway. Mm, it's not so bad, but it's not pleasant around here. Let's go find a Sight of Grace. Let's go find a fucking Sight of Grace. There should be one just south out of here. What in the... F Fuck is... I don't remember those enemies. It's a flying ant, is it? I can't turn the camera around nicely. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Where's the south end of the woods with... There's a side of grace somewhere over here! How far over here is it? There's the fucking thing! Poison's gonna fish him? Oh, I'm noticing. I just thought I could make it. I mean, I wouldn't have made it if I turned around at that point. Let's go get that Sight of Grace. Because I want to pick up those uh, runes. Kenneth Height should be over there and a couple items and things, right? I think there might be an invasion, though, so... Let's just go get our runes right now. Do you like this game? I mean, really? Why? I really enjoy this game. I think... It's got such wild and out there lore, even if you don't understand the lore, which most of the time I don't. Just seeing the variety of enemies and the strange ideas for enemies and so on is really fascinating to me. Hello, what are you? Okay. That's for... That's for... This is a big problem in my first playthrough. And I've forgotten again the difference between a seal and a talisman. I think this is for incantations. And an incantation. Okay, we probably won't use those because I think those are both incantation items. But cool. What are you? Cool. Um, I love the huge variety of weird fantasy available in these. From golden knights to zombies to giant bugs. It's got... To, to things I would have never thought of before. Lava slugs and, um... What are you doing out here? Why are you here? Sometimes that variety can bite you in the ass, though. 
Anyway, I like all that variety, and then... The frustration heightens, for me at least. The joy of overcoming a challenge most times. It's not for everyone, though. I wish they offered more difficulty options. You can get mods for it, but I wish they offered them natively. And I would not fault anyone for not being interested in playing these games. But yeah, I enjoy them a lot. Godslayer Seal is so good. Law of Causality. Or what is it? Law of Causality or Law of Casualty? I didn't read that correctly. And I just realized what you typed. That's a boss. Starfall the Crescents, no worries. With the enemy in Heights Castle that drops an Ash of War, drop a randomized Ash or any item. They would drop a randomized important item. What the game calls an important item is a bit hard to describe, but bosses, mini-bosses, uh, minor aired trees, items that are usually in important places like that, gold seeds and runes and things, are randomized to other places important items usually are, not just anywhere. That, by the way, is an option. Let me show you this real quick for anyone who didn't see it. Do I still have this on? Do I still have this capturing? I think I might. Hang on. I might not. We'll see. I need... I need... Alright, please show up. Yeah. This is what it looks like. You run this and it makes a file for your randomizer, but I could have it key items randomized to important locations. I could have them randomized anywhere. Same for flask upgrades, upgrade bells. There are tons of options. This bias here changes vaguely how everything is moved around totally randomly or more like near where it should be, the same zone. Some more options for enemy randomizers. from this. There's tons of options to this. So mine randomizes it to where important things are, but that's not necessarily the case if you see other people playing randomizers. Millennia is a challenge. Sometimes it's more frustration than it is reward, yeah. Have you seen the movie Zathra? I have not. People that say Millennia wasn't hard, used rivers of blood. I don't think Kenneth ever actually goes to his fort. He does, I've gotten him to go there. I couldn't figure out anything to do with him after that, but you can send him to his fort. That's cool. So the mod creator for all that hard work. Oh, uh, shout out to the mod creator for all that hard work. Truly randomizing things in code is difficult. It's an amazing mod. I spent a fuck ton of time on it. I don't, I don't want that enemy on the right getting involved. You're one of the Scarlet Rot ones. Great. You're one of the Last of Us trees. Great. Ah. Doing it again. Great. Hoping for a bleed somewhere in here. Which I know sounds weird from a tree, but I think it can be done. We're having to back off for all this shit, though. Not this attack. Pretty good job right there. Fuck you, man. Mmm. Very early. If I back up too much, isn't there someone in the fort who will, like, shoot me? Should be careful of that. Start going the other direction. I don't think this tree bleeds. <laughs> I think I lied to myself. It 
still gonna die, however. I do have to use this attack. I don't like this attack. Do we win right there? Easy game. What you got for me? Loot? You motherfucker. Finally caught you live. Love the content. Thank you so much for saying that, Toxic Hydra. If you're hanging out, I hope you enjoy the live stream, but I super appreciate you just coming by to say that at the least. Must be a rune bearer or something. This randomizer's wild. I fully recommend Zathura. It's Jumanji in space. That is a solid idea. Maybe that variant doesn't bleed. I guess not. Things you only say in a fantasy world. I don't think this tree bleeds. Maybe someone on like, the demi-humans wax wroth. Now their mother's been taken. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The night bedeviled by blood. Sorry, I had to do some VA there for a second. Um, I mean, you might say that if you work on a maple syrup farm. And there's a tree that's not producing. There's possibly other times. But probably not outside of Fantasy World, yeah. I feel like in my current playthrough they bled. Pretty sure there are only two putrid avatars, so no more a rot stump bosses. That would be fantastic. I hope you're right. <laughs> nothing. I hope you're hungry for nothing. It wasn't a boss, it was a rune bear. Damn. Still loving the game? Absolutely. Can I backstab you while you're in that animation? I think I was standing at about the same place. Maybe you can't backstab them while they're holding on to their gun. Uh, there's something around here, isn't there? If I, like, climb these ledges? Isn't there a merchant in this area? And what is that for? That little summon there. I think there's also hidden groups of demi-humans around here that will backstab me if I'm not careful. Like there. No, that's the uh, merchant. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way, right this way. This happens to a lot of the fires because the um materials are randomized and so it's randomized the flame butterflies that hang around a fire into a plant so you're gonna you're gonna see that a lot just just to explain do you think i've ever gotten that weapon before is it a good bleed weapon no no it's much better than what i was using before but no it's not a good bleed weapon Welcome, valued customer come signs a note from the merchant saying he's around oh hey rune bear is a cave boss Bloodhound Fang is a really good I'm weed hungry. weapon. I've been hungry so long. Please. Uh, receive bell bearing. Kind of mean, actually. <laughs> this unlocks his shop back at Roundtable Hold, right? So he just was like, please buy something. I've been so hungry for so long. <gasps> I'm just skin and bones. I'll expire if you don't. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's tough. I understand. It's a rough world out there. Could I get that item that lets me... I want, I'm want. i interested in your items. I'd like to buy them elsewhere. Could I get that bearing? Bell bearing. Thank you. That's mean. It's a campfire plant. Didn't you have them growing up? No. I guess it wasn't a northeast thing. All right, what are you selling? Gravity stone chunk, freezing grease, turtleneck meat... You're selling a sacred tear. Bot. Opaline bubble tear. Significantly nade Okay. This is, um, hang on. Where am I? Where am I? Mistwood. Mistwood. Nomadic merchant. There are some things I'm not going to buy here, but I'm going to want to remember that he has them to possibly buy later. Uh, so let's write down the important items. Hello. No, I'll just buy it online first. I just wanted to use your shop to look at it. Thank you for being here, merchant. 
Now I'm going to roundtablehold.com. I've been so hungry, my brother in Christ, you put your camp in the most remote location imaginable. Could have been in Caelid. Think of the things that you have to eat there. Alright, what do you got? Opaline bubbles here. I won't remember what that means, so I'm going to add parentheses negate damage. Ritual pot. So quests are going to be a little bit different in this randomizer. You have the unalloyed golden needle in your shop. Fascinating. You've got Pneumatic Warrior's Cookbook and Armor's Cookbook. Gnome War Cookbook. Which is 11. And Arm Cookbook. Six. Anything else important here? Ash of War. I should just start writing AOW. I'll remember what that means eventually. Lightning Slash. Ash of War. Stormwall. Slow down your writing, Hydra. You'll never be able to read this. Serpent Arrow, Astrologer Hood, and Immunizing Horn Charm. Immunizing Horn Charm. Good. Good, good, good. Immunity. Alright. Good to know. Excellent, excellent. I think it was Dev's intention to not implant quest markers, or are they just lazy? Um, I think it was their intention not to implement them. I think they should have given you a bit more guidance, but I see what they were going for. I just... Well, hmm. Okay. Personally, I, I'm not in favor of them adding way more guidance, but I wouldn't mind it either. I do wish the story was told to you much more clearly. Especially for individual quests. But I'm comfortable the way it is now. And it would change the experience. So I imagine it's the way it is because they wanted it that way. What's up, KFC? Happy Sunday. Didn't even have NPC markers for a while, so I heard. Surprised they added even those markers. Elden Ring actually has the most health of the games. We used to not even have maps. FromSoft games have always been like this. I know, I've played... I've not played all of them. But the ones I haven't played are like Armored Core and Kingsfield. I've beaten Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, a couple of them twice. I beat Sekiro, I beat Bloodborne twice. Uh... I think they should give you more guidance and difficulty options. Some quests I'm like, how the fuck was I supposed to do this without Google? It's exactly what my friend was like when I recommended he play this game. It was his first game. And he looked, he screwed up a quest and he didn't realize he had, but he knew he needed an item and he no longer had it. So he looked up the quest and he spent like 30 minutes figuring out what he was supposed to do, why it had gone wrong. And he was shocked. Plays like a 90s RPG slash mud. Even some 90s RPGs have quest logs and journals. ER has way more guidance, but it's understandable considering how much larger the game is. That's true. If we could only have one Froth so more, from software, Froth somewhere? From software game with more guidance, this is the right one for it. Anyway, I enjoy the game as it is. It's not a huge issue for me. But it certainly, certainly is too much for some people. Exactly what other people are looking for. You know. Tastes. Opinions. What are you going to do? I didn't mean to come all the way back up here. I've been up here before. Let's go ahead and start Blythe's thing. There's, um... Hello. There's a, uh... Mini boss. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Forget what I was talking about. What we're actually going to first do is get the fuck out of here. 
There's a mini boss underneath Blythe's ruins. But we're gonna come back to them in a minute anyway, so let's go to Kale. Let's teleport to Kale as soon as I'm out of combat. What am I doing running everywhere? Am I still in trouble with all the enemies around here? How do I get out of these woods? It's my first stream, I don't know what to say. Good to see you, happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well, friend. Feel free to lurk until you figure it out. Feel free to lurk if you just prefer to. If you need a suggestion, I'd be happy to hear how your weekend's going, what games you've been playing recently. Well, like I say, just feel free to hang out if you prefer. You're maidenless, that's why you have no guidance. I am, I'm not maidenless! I have Melina! That's one thing I can say for certain! How dare you! From Somewhere makes my favorite games like Light Spirits 1, 2, and 3. Someone What's up, Kenneth? Be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. What's up, Kenneth? You fucking weirdo. The order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Right. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. I remember you now. His whole finishing his fucking theatrical speech. Hello? Even if you come right up to his face, is like, I don't like this guy. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... It's very kind, but, um... But what? No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Even from a tarnished. Maybe this time around we just kill him? See what happens to his questline then? His clothes are different? Yes, most NPCs' clothes have been randomized. Some NPCs they can't do that to. The merchants are dressed the same. Um... Someone else, I forget who. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale. Do Grace Mimics do anything? I don't know. To boot. Simply obsessed with Melina fills the role of Maiden? She's not your Maiden, though? If she's filling my role, I'll call her Maiden. It's fine with me. I'm not picky. <laughs> Items! I know we're supposed to teleport to Calais soon, but items! These could be anything, Samantha. They could even be items. Snow Witch Skirt. Nice. Pants Night continues. Crystal Staff. Fan Daggers. Shabriri's Woe. We've got a mask. Golden Rune is good. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice little haul there. I like it. One quick check under Kenneth Heights archway, and then I'll go, because I feel like there was something under it at one point. Is it just enemies? Is that what I'm thinking of? There were just a bunch of enemies on the road down there? How do I get down there? Probably fastest just to go back across. Probably safest, too. Jumping in this game is so awkward. It is. And still, so much less awkward than all their other games, but it's still pretty awkward. Every time they have a platforming section, I'm like, do you think you have the game engine for this? Do you really? Are you certain this is what you want to put in your game? Is there, like, loot at the cart? There's kind of a fuck ton of enemies. How tough are the enemies? Sweet misses, Skelly Man. Got him. That guy still hasn't realized we're here somehow. Or he's got AI that doesn't attack until you attack him. You deaf? I'll take a free hit, that's fine. That's fine with me. There is an item over there. However, there's more enemies there. Let's summon. Doot doot! 
Steal a maiden. I swear, they troll players with putting in platforming in poison swamps. I am with you there. All right, we should kill the uh, knights and stuff first. I feel like they're gonna be easier than the big old fucking octopus. Did you just shield her little rat? How much health this rat got? Please don't grab me. Okay. You're supposed to only attack these things in the face, right? Shit. Okay, health time now. Health time. Now it's time for health. Boy, we had a lot of fun there, but now we heal. You chewing off your arm to heal. I hate that for you and me. Get the visceral! Good shit, I think we have this now. Good shit. I did all that fighting for some crab eggs. For some crab eggs. A golden rune. And a ruin fragment. Oh, there's more! Hang on! Thin beast bones. Good. Excellent battle. Let's go to Calais. Down here, right? Spin to win on this weapon is like the hunter's axe. So it reminded me of two. Spin to win is so fun. One of my favorite weapons in all of Bloodborne. Even though it's just a starting weapon. It's so good. Didn't you buy a sacred tear from the merchant? Yes. I did. Thank you for the reminder. Flasks increase amount. Done and done. Now then, I don't have any of the other stuff, right? Allocate flask charges. I think five is still good, unfortunately. Um, Mix wondrous physic. I don't yet have any tears. I know where I can buy one, but I have other things in mind. Uh, I would like to check what a level up costs. Ooh, okay. So we're going to have to farm some levels, really, to get what I need in um, Strength and In. That's awkward. What's up, Yasser Salim? Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well, friend. Talk to Kale, I will. I wish Elden Ring had more trick weapons like Bloodborne. How many people are here from Twitch? And full, certainly. Trick weapons are so fun. I tried almost every single one during Bloodborne. Do you normally stream on Sundays? I stream here on YouTube on Sundays, and on Twitch, I aim to stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings. That's normal. This coming week, I will not be streaming Wednesday or Thursday. I've got a corporate thing to go to from Wednesday right through Friday. So, uh, the plan is Twitch will be Monday and Tuesday, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And I'll be back here next Sunday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And I may try to do a bonus stream. Friday or Saturday on Twitch. We'll see. However, let me take the chance to say again that I've uploaded 21 and a half, just over 21 and a half hours of content to this channel. They are the six VODs from my first playthrough of Alien Isolation, and I'm going to schedule them to release one a day tomorrow right through Saturday. So I know it's not the same as live, but if you want more content, there will be full VODs of my Alien Isolation playthrough going up this week. Crystal Staff. Staff fashioned from pure crystal. A deed impossible for a human. Enhances Crystallian sorceries. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Crystal Staff in a really chintzy gift shop before, so show us what they know. We oui, du Quebec. How's the hangover? <laughs> Mr. Corporate Fancy Pants. It is a pretty fancy office. I mean, I wouldn't be going if I had any choice, but it looks like the place might be nice. We'll see. I'm going to go on a guided hike. We got to select two activities for Thursday, the day we're going to be there all day. We got to select a morning and an afternoon activity among the other stuff that's already planned for the whole group to do. And I chose a guided hike and a watercolor class. Hmm. The Crystallian's faint cogitation is known as the wisdom of stone. The staff can only be wielded though by those of intellect high enough to grasp such wisdom. No skill. 
I know that means it has no skill. It always makes me... Th Holy shit, the int requirement. You gotta know a lot about stone. I have a geologist friend. I'll call them after stream. Maybe they could help me out. What the fuck? Will you be showing your artwork on stream? Let's see how the artwork comes out first. How about I see how the artwork comes out first and then we'll decide. Erdsteel Dagger is a faith weapon. No, oh, this should have been my faith playthrough. I've picked up a good deal of faith weapons. Uh, it was like 4,900, I think. For a, um... Level. Can I get up there? Sorry, why aren't you showing me my... current runes? Oh, that did it. That brought me up like 2,800 or something? How much is in all of these? We're not going to get up over 10,000 for two levels, are we? We'll take the one, then. Okay, I need f 16 strength for the weapon I'm going for, and this gives me one more damage to my current weapon, so let's do that, and then we'll start leveling the int we need for the weapon we're aiming for. Then we'll start doing the int. People still play Elden Ring? No. Also, I'm going to ban you for your screen name. Have a good day. You can farm runes in Kaelid with that big boulder. I'll stand by those gifties. Randomizer gave you easy mode swords so early in the playthrough. I have to level up to use it though. I still have to put in some work. Let's go get our quest. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Oh, also, uh, you can't see these very easily behind me, but um, I can purchase a required item marker or an upgrade item marker. I've not done that yet. I'm not planning to, but in case we get in trouble, I can buy these. I have no idea what they cost. Anyway, they're there. Came back and someone got banned. That's the power you have. Now everyone watching the highlights is like, did he actually ban someone? Or is that one of the things he's just making up and pretending to respond? I'm so lost on this stream. Or maybe they're just like, I don't care if that's real or not. I'm assuming a lot about these highlights videos viewers. Hey, highlights video viewers. Hope you're doing well. The howl of a wolf in the mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Oh, I tried Next last playthrough. I really did. Owl. Make this signal right under the source. Ah, oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. All right, good shit. Goodbye for now. Thanks for that, buddy. Thank you for that. It's gonna be a little while before we can swap weapons. Maybe we should upgrade this one before going on. How much of a difference would that make? How much damage would that add? Does that improve the bleed at all? I imagine not. For anyone who hasn't seen our the characters yet, this is what Dialos looks like in our game. This is what Corwin looks like in our game. This is Ensha. Here's a fun one. This is Gideon off near the all knowing. Dial is kind of hot. He's not bad. He's not bad. Is Roger here now? Since I've met Roger's ghost? No, I've got to find Roger in Stormvale first, right? Um. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, just a sec. Can I get over there without and give it uh, make it sort of a reveal? I want you to think in your head how you believe Fia is dressed. Okay? You can just try to randomize in your head. You got it? You good? Ooh, so sexy. You'd hug it, right? I'd hug the hell out of it. <laughs> I'm so happy with this one. 
so really pleased. Got the dress right at least. I have to kill Margaret in order to have Roger spawn in. Well, Figured envoy knows? crown. Possibly that would have been great too. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Strength and armament. Smithing stone one of which I have two and I need two. 490, this will increase the damage. Not a ton. It increases my damage from, what is it right now? 152 up to 161. I deal nine more damage. It doesn't sound worth it. Am I wrong? Is that worth it? It really doesn't sound worth it. Do you don't need your warmth, Solaire, praise the sun. I feel like it's not going to make much of a difference if we do that. Let's go on. Okay. Back to snap at Blythe. So the uh, uh, Blythe should be this way. May finally get to see what Blythe's face looks like. What's this item? More crab eggs, okay. Which direction are the ruins? South of me. And that's the big group I got in trouble with earlier. There's the ruins. So I think I know where, is he, where he stands. What happens if you snap right in front of where he stands? Also, let me get this guy again before we go on. I may go down and fight the thing underneath, whatever it is, and I don't want this guy to surprise me if I run over without thinking. Did Kale still give the finger snap emote? He did. They did not randomize that. The wolf is his face? I think that's true lore-wise, though I'm not certain of lore ever. However, if that is not the case behind the scenes, because there is a wolf mask, it may randomize his face. All right, if I snap right here, will he just like appear in front of me? Not bow, switch. Who goes there? <laughs> Carly sent you to the bloody busybody. Oh my god. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. My first playthrough, I didn't see him jump down. I was on the other side of the wall here, and I saw him straighten up. Because I was looking in the wrong direction when he went down, I guess. I thought he was camouflaged here. Jesus, dude. Well, no different face. He apparently has a unique pre-programmed model. Maybe because of due, due to how fucking huge he is. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. I hope Darrowell is still where Darrowell should be. Let's go look. Let's go take a look. You can see him from a distance howling up there. Hmm, I don't want to deal with that. They have red eyes. Oh, you're the guy who sees me from a million miles away and you're going to shoot me with a huge arrow now. I remember you, you fuck, but you have no poise in most of your attack animations. That's the one that does, but I was hoping you'd die.
I'm out of stamina. That's why this fight is going oddly now. Get fucked. Didn't you kill Bloodhound, Darewell? Did I already kill him? Did I do this fight? What's all that noise? Lorne Hound Ever Jail. Okay, who's here? So on my first playthrough, I also didn't see this glowing on the ground when I walked in. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. Okay, Blythe, let's kill Darawell. This is as big a surprise for me as it is for you. After you. Holy shit, the knockdown. Holy shit, the knockdown. Fucking double attacks, man. Can't tell what's happening. Good hit. Jesus, you do some poise damage, don't you, Blythe? Wish you'd been here to fight Terrible with me the first time. Oh my god, he's gonna die. My boy! They killed my boy! Okay, we're gonna drink first. I'm trying to save his life, but... Shit. Two heals left. Don't kill him! Ah, oh, fuck. I still win, right? I still... This counts for the quest, doesn't it? I know in past games they've had to survive the important fights, but this is still... I'm just not over. Oh my god, is Blythe going to be here? Hey, a somber smithing stone, that's nice. Is Blythe going to be here? Oh my god, thank you. Oh, I love it. Please, nestle me in your warm cape. I'm so glad you're still here. Protect my lustrous hair with your cloak. Please, please, please. Oh, it's so good to see you. We're doing the quest. We're doing it. Ooh, should still work? Hell yes. Darawill, God of Freud, same difference. Worried about Blythe? Oh, stone. This is canon as far as I'm concerned. God of Freud is a very weird enemy, lore-wise. Right. There you are. Hard to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. We get prizes. Oh. Still. Yay. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side. A little. Him, I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. I think last time I said that Blythe had sent me without ever having this conversation. It's funny they give you that option. That's enough chit-chat for now. It's time we parted ways. 
Okay. Good shit. Good shit, Samantha. What a prize. Amazing. Psycho, just get someone to dress up as Blythe and summon them. 10 out of 10 prize. Scammed. Dude, Blythe is a fantastic, fantastic cooperator. I wish you could summon in more fights, too. Okay. We need to gain levels and get items. Mainly we need to get levels, as we have a, quite a nice item, if I can level up a bit. I used to kill a bunch of you guys early on last time. Are you... you're not worth much though, are you? No, you're worth fuck all. Fuck all. Let's get out of here. Peace out, look forward to the shorts. Thanks so much for hanging out, Chris. Have a wonderful, yeah, day-night, whatever time it is. Have a good one, friendo. That glow is from jellyfish, not prizes. I didn't realize enemies respawned when you went to the Everjail. There should be a quest NPC under there, right? I think I see his campfire. Let's go see how he's dressed. Go see what's going on, Jesus, that arrow, with him. Anything happening at this camp? No, okay. Something's going on over there. I don't think we need to get involved, really. Hello, Yura! How are... Wow. Wow. Okay. How are you? Hairy. Very hairy. Ah. You must be the new Tarnished. I'm quite the fool by the look of it. Picking a fight with a dragon. <laughs> wow. I did do that. I can tell you want to see it through. Seems I'm forever crossing paths with hotheads like you. I can tell you want to see fools will be fools. Fight all the dragons you like. I can tell you want fools. Not a lot to say to me right now. Interesting. Interesting. I got a mask a while back. Does that cover up my hair? I didn't get a mask a while back. I didn't get a mask a while back. Oh. Wait. This is the first talisman I've gotten. This is the only talisman I've gotten. It was a talisman and such a useful one. I killed Jura in my playthrough just because he gave me a bad feeling. I wanted his hat. He's just jealous of your even nicer hair. I think I killed Jura eventually, but I didn't mean to. It's just that's the way a quest worked out that I wasn't paying attention to or understanding. Same as always. Oh, why is there one of you around? I want that bat dead before I get seriously involved with the big guy, but it's kind of hard to find a time to kill the bat safely with him around. I can't believe I hit roll too late, but apparently I did. Good. Okay. Shit, come on, you fucker. Where's your fucking back? There's a wolf now! Will you bleed? I thought that was supposed to be like a so I'm out of heals. I didn't realize for a while. And then I do shit like this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where am I going? All I wanted was an item. Can I get that or are you gonna ready your fucking painful cloud before I can grab it? 
All right, cool. Ballista bolt. Let's get the fuck out of here. I forget how I get the fuck out of here, but it's not actually this direction, is it? Fucking shit, I saw that enemy just before I opened the map. Fuck them. Very pleasant noises. Super pleasant noises. Well, there's a sight of grace anyhow. <sighs> Let's buy another level. Oh, I didn't mean crafting, sorry. Buy ourselves a level here. Should have enough to get there. It's 5,200 something. Perfect. Put that into int. Three to go. I think we need to go to Southern Limgrave to find some more interesting things. I'm not confident I can kill the dragon. Maybe I could clear out the fort. Let's try clearing out the fort. Let's go see what's waiting for me in there. If I can clear out the fort, that's probably worth a few important items, right? You gotta do the Weeping Peninsula? That's what I'm thinking of soon, but... Let's check this first. Should randomize the graces? What do you mean, where they are? I don't think that would be easy to program. Maybe possible, but I don't think that would be easy. Wait, since that's a bear, is that Aired Tree Avatar back? That's it, there, right? Isn't it? <laughs> cool. So that's just gonna respawn every time. Delightful. All right, what awaits me instead of demi-humans here? Misbegotten. Holy shit! So let's go to the Weeping Peninsula. You do some grocery shopping, make sure you buy delicious things. Have a good one, Fredo, drive safe. Let's go somewhere else. Still can't open my map. I should be able to now. This one on the map is pointing southward. I didn't realize that there was a, uh... That any of these pointed southwards towards the Weeping Peninsula. Interesting. What's important to the Weeping Peninsula? I don't even know. I know Castle Morn's there, but that's not, like, story important, is it? Who really cares about Castle Morn? I hate you, enemies. So I'm gonna skip you, if you don't mind. There's a dragon in front of the fucking bridge. Let me think for a sec. Also, I just remembered that there's a graveyard. Oh, is it not here? I'm in the wrong place. That's Castle Morn. There's a graveyard around here, isn't there? I see it. A bunch of sarcophagi with items. Which is a possible gold mine and a randomizer, so we're gonna take a second and do them. Then I'll teleport back and go to the bridge and see what that fucking guy is. Smithing Stone 1, excellent. Crystal Dart, good. Ash of War Cragblade, cool. Clarifying Horn Charm, plus one, nice. I don't know what that does, but a plus one one is cool. Golden Rune, 
And Beast Blood, Black Keybolt, and the Rune Arc. Blood Grease. Is that everything? I think it is. Let's drop their attention. Teleport back to where we just started from and go to the bridge again. Is there anything on this beach? Oh, look, the Orphan of Kos. Golden Rune 7. They're still after me. I think I'm going to touch the side of grace I just left from to drop their aggro. Just got on one big... <laughs> Not that big. Circle a line, a teleporting line. We've gone in a teleporting line, which is the teleporting version of a circle. All right, back where I was again. A grafted sword is usually in Castle Morn. Okay, southward. Hopefully without getting in trouble with that dude. And then... We'll see how tough the dragon looks. Then we'll see how tough the dragon looks. Is he attacking me? No. So we can circle around that enemy without a fight. Now which dragon are you and how difficult are you? You're a regular old dragon. Your health is pretty reasonable. Your attacks as always are not, you fucker. He's trying to jump. Apparently I didn't leave time for the animation. There's the bleed, baby. There's a little fucking hand. Hang on. It's only a little one. I should be able to kill the dragon first. All right, you bastard. And a pot a jar friend. Get away from me. Don't explode. All right, not bad at all. Not bad. Thank God the orphan was already dead. It would have been scaled down. We would have been fine. Are the great runes random as well? Yes. Yes, they are. Agil, never mind. I thought it might be a named dragon too. Do animals have random drops? I've I think I feel like they do. Anyone with better knowledge of what things usually drop? Can you say from what you've seen so far? Do the drops appear to be random or normal? Like once it places a random enemy, does that random enemy? drop the normal loot it would? Or does it drop random loot? Silver tears bleed easily. Really easily. No! You died so young. I only summoned you like 60 seconds ago. It makes me feel really much better to watch the AI do that. Silver mirror shield. Not how that's operated. All right. You don't usually get beast bloods that often. Hands off. They're random. They've looked random, but not like ridiculous. Raw meat dumpling, ash of war, square off. Are there are enemies hanging around this side of the bridge. I just like rode through here last time. I don't really recall. Is that an item? Oh, it's a skull, isn't it? I didn't need to come over here. But as long as I have, give me the item. Shit. Now, there's Castle Morn here. There's a couple 
towers, one of which teleports you elsewhere. This guy somehow hasn't heard me. I guess it's because their ears rotted off, actually. That perfectly feasible, perfectly understandable. It's a great shield you just got. Is that the shield you get from the Heilig Tree boss riding a mount? It's the church, in the church with the giant lady. Square off is the basic ash on short swords, isn't it? I uh, didn't make too many use of ashes of war, honestly. I used weapons that came with cool abilities. And so I didn't end up changing them ever or anything, so I'm not sure. Didn't notice you for a second. Glad you didn't notice me for a second. And let's take care of you before I stop to talk to this guy. Okay. How are you doing? You're looking very scholarly now, lady. What's up? Hmm, okay. Hello? Is somebody there? It's me, the Molding Sky. Please. Yes, that is a name. What are you talking about? I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Frightful howling, eh? Sounds like the castle's been taken over by misbegotten. Or lava slugs. Or giants. Or huge monster mosquitoes. Or... It could be almost anything. I'm gonna have to go see. Squaroff is like the bootleg version of Unsheathed, but for non-Katanas. I used the Ash of War that makes your weapon holy so I could kill the undead without worrying about them coming back to life. Maybe even Melania? I know there's an option to have bosses spawn in normal locations. I don't know if Melania can randomly spawn. I think I have that option turned on, but the chance is quite low. But to be honest, I really have no idea. I truly don't know. Let's kill this basilisk before they fuck me up. Easy. Let's backstab you now. Looks like I have the gargoyle's attention after that. I do! Oh, please, no! I was focused so much on thinking about getting a hit on this guy, I didn't even look at what I was doing. Ah! Let's go back and work our way through them again. I like the gravity ash of war you pick up by the beach because it buffs poise damage. That sounds fun. Problem is, it won't be on the beach now, or it's unlikely to. So, we'll have to go find it. Are Remembrance weapons randomized? I'm unsure. Because... Vendors are randomized, but with some limitations. I, I'm not sure. After alien isolation VODs, you planning on our wild VODs? That's what I'm thinking about. Hey, thank you so much for the 698. It says SGD 698. Is it not converting? Is that what it is? I don't know what currency is. I appreciate that. And the little Shiba Bravo. Thank you. for. Wait, are you clapping my death? Is that what the Bravo is about? Hang on. Thank you so much for the super sticker. There it goes. That's interesting it doesn't convert. That'll be something to get used to. I'm gonna learn about world currencies, possibly. Are you Elon Musk? I am not, thankfully. Super Game Dollars. From the Republic of Gamers. Asus's Republic of Gamers. 
I have one of their laptops. Dude, I'm getting to love my laptop. I've always been pleased with the laptop I got, but I didn't make a huge amount of use of it. It was sort of a last resort when I wasn't here. I've actually, I've got this thing where I stopped transferring my editing projects back and forth from the desktop to the laptop based on where I was because Premiere fucking sucks sometimes. And one thing it didn't like was being changed from one computer to the other. It would just randomly be like, I don't know what this media is any longer. I don't know what you're trying to do. So I moved it all to my laptop. And even when I'm home, I edit on my laptop. The um, processor is actually better for it anyway. And I got myself a lap desk. And now Serpent Bow and Trina's Lily. Good shit. Now, once in a great while, I don't even turn this computer on in a day. If I'm not playing games on my PC, in which case... Uh, I might be playing the my console or just watching things that day and working on shit. I just sit out there with my laptop and it's been amazing. I do miss sometimes having conspectus scroll. This unlocks more incantations does, or uh, sorceries, doesn't it? I miss having the multiple monitors, but otherwise, it's so nice spending my day on my couch. I'm loving it. I spent so long making this such a perfect setup for gaming and streaming and it is so good, but I've been blown away how much Comfort I've got out in my living room, dude. Singapore dollars, gotcha. You don't like Elon? Not a fan. I think he's... I think he's a smart investor, an awful CEO, and willing to take any political or social opinion that blames other people. So I find him... I found him entertaining for a little while. Now I just find him very aggravating. Give the scroll to Selen. I know where Selen is. We've already met Selen. I bet it will unlock random things. No, actually, I bet it will unlock what it normally unlocks. However, I don't know what it normally unlocks. So we'll have to see together. Hello, friend. No! No! Why are you a madman? You're a golden knight. Why are you a madman? What the fuck was that stab? I was trying to get to your back. Andy B, thank you so much for the 499. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, friend. It's going pretty well. How are you doing? Shit, that was last second. There's your back, you bastard. There's your back, you silly fuck. Got him. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Can I drink my Wondrous Physic when it doesn't do anything? Okay. Somehow unsatisfying. The bow is so good, you don't have to go to Caleb. How do I use Super Chat? I'm actually not totally certain. <laughs> I I have only watched a handful of streams on YouTube and I've never figured out where the super chat is. I've never looked for it. Don't know. Just nice water that I drank. It's not even sparkling. Placebo potion. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. Oh, there's a dollar sign by the chat box. Thank you. I would have had to look later. Dude, do you know the things I've already fought? Demi humans are normal. You're not gonna you're not gonna intimidate me now. Somewhere around here there's that giant death bird. It will be uh, fun to see what replaces that. Let's get this thing. Please don't be a trap. I can't remember if this is a trap. Got it to a wall. Got it to a wall. Got him. A sacrificial twig. Good. Excellent. Did you find the opaline bubble tier? You can put that in the physic. I did, but I did not yet buy it. I know where to buy it, though. I think it's a thousand runes. 
I've not gotten it yet. I forget where the bird spawns. I kind of want another set of grace. Perfect. Fire giant bird. Those twigs are wonderful for the platforming sections. Okay, where am I standing right now? I can't yet... Oh, I can! See where the map is. Let's go get the map to help me out here. I know where I am now. I misremembered this wall. There's usually a giant shooting arrows down in front of the castle there. God knows what it will be this time. Maps are where maps should be, luckily. That's very kind of them. Those are not randomized. Let's go see what's down there, that little sapling. Why are you a madman is also what my therapist said to me. Wow, he just goes right for it, doesn't he? Admirable. Sacred tear, cool. Usually that'd be a golden seed, right? Thematic. There's also a merchant by the grace. Is there? I've forgotten that. Go back there in a second. This is where the bird spawns, somewhere in here, right? No giant. Right around here you get attacked. Am I wrong? Am I in the wrong place? Or is there nothing here? Oh, it has to be at night? Okay. Let's go get the merchant and then come back here and see. Sacred Tear, not bad. It'd be a nightmare hunting every mob for a map in the area. <laughs> hunting for a map in other areas. Yeah, it could be a shit show, so thankfully they don't randomize those. What's up, merchant boy? Sorry I missed you for a second there. What are you selling? Uh, receive bell bearing, first of all. And you've got staunching boluses, stimulating boluses, invigorating white cured meat, a warming stone, soporific grease, glass shard, beast blood, aeonian butterfly, arteria leaf. You have a golden seed. All right. Weeping. Peninsula. Nomadic merchant. Has a golden seed for 3,000. I would love to buy that. Smithing stones, somber smithing stones. Smith plus somber. Two of each. No, not quite. Number uh, ones and twos. I'll write down specifically later, but let's not worry now. You still have stone sword key. Stone sword key. Nomadic warrior's cookbook. 16. Golden arrow. The Twin Bird Kite Shield. Is the Twin Bird Kite Shield important? Doesn't sound it. At dwindling levels of HP, this shield slightly boosts both attack and defense. I don't think I need to write that down. You sell a shield as well. Cool. Thanks for that, pal. Let's make it night. Nice to make one of your streams. What are you looking for exactly? Right now, we are just looking around the Weeping Peninsula for items because I'm playing a randomizer and enemies and items are completely shuffled around. So I have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm just hunting places where there might be something. And we need some experience. 
He's ripping you off for a stone sword key? That's what happens sometimes. Those are market forces, what can I do? It's just walking around! Why is it just walking around? I thought it spawned out of the sky. Is that just coincidence? Is that just an... Did that replace a normal enemy and there's something else over here? That's normally a knight's cavalry. It got randomized. Okay, and what's in the place of the creature? What's over here? Cavalry. Okay. This... Okay. It's not the most random it could be. Hello there. How tough are you? Death Cavalry. Can't hit you. So pretty tough. Jesus Christ, man. I gotta land a hit just so I know how difficult you are. You're pretty annoying. Is this a summoning area? It is not. You just tell me when you get motion sick, Samantha. Just give me a heads up when you're motion sick! That hit me, too. I just like to get a sweet bleeding, like, head start before I get in there seriously. That's why I'm trying to do this. Cooler name, though? Much cooler. I think that's called Mutated Enemies. Where it combines their names, so we had, like, Tibia Theodorix, instead of just Theodorix, when Theodorix took over Tibia Mariner's place. And here, instead of Deathbird, we have a Cavalry, so Death Cavalry. Got your fucking horse! Almost! That's a good hit! Alright, come over here and let's do this. Get out of the trees. What are you doing? Did you fuck up? Nope. Maybe? I think he's stuck. Crystal Dart, Throwing Dagger, Kukri, Blood Loss, Fan Daggers. I don't have any Poison Dammer Daggers. I got 13 of these. How do you feel about magic damage? You may think this is cowardly, but I'm sure you've all watched videos of, like, Shaolin monks hurling nails. This is the same level of skill. You should be impressed, really. Oh, I didn't mean to keep throwing the Kukri. I meant to switch to the throwing dagger because he was so low, I don't think I need the bleed. Easy game. Easy game. Good sh <laughs> Good shit. Commensurate reward. Monks don't throw nails at people though? Wait, not in the YouTube videos you're watching, but why do you think they developed those skills? Carpentry?
Do you just imagine like the Shaolin builders pull up outside the site and they're like, hey, could you hold that board up? I'm just, I'm not getting out of the truck. <laughs> Done. Okay, good. Perfect. Have a good one. And they drive away again? Wow, so many pants. Cheese spot. Well-deserved pants for that cheese. <laughs> Didn't use them on defenseless people, though. He had armor and a weapon. He could find his way around the tree if he really wanted to. Fuck him. The most efficient carpenters in the world. That's <laughs> exactly what they did. He's trying to revive his horse. Did he not have space? Is that what happened? I feel a little bad about that, but come on, at some point I've got to fight the fire giant where Margit should be, so let me do this sometimes. You get what you deserve, cloth pants. I did pick up a lot of um, runes. That's one of the three levels that we need to use the cool new weapon. Everything west of us. There is, but not, like, connected to here. There is Castle Morn. Let's do Castle Morn last of the Weeping Peninsula. So I'll finish sweeping this area, then we'll do the west side of the Weeping Peninsula, then we'll come back to Castle Morn. I could use that, sure. Sure, 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 I could. Thank you. Super kind of you to offer that. If that dog could see me before the others do, I would love that. Come get me. Keep forgetting I'm wearing the Briar's armor and then that happens and I'm shocked. Great. Come on, get out of here. Good shit. For a smithing stone one, I will take that. We'll need a lot of those by the end of the game. I will take that. You could try the death right bird in Kaelin. I know it de uh, definitely won't drop, but death's poker is good for fire giant. The what bird in Kaelin? I don't even know where you mean. God, I've forgotten so much of this game in so little time. I remember it as I see it, but I can't pull these memories just out. I can't do that. I don't have that in me. Missed a lot what happened when I was gone. Hydra was trying to convince us Shaolin monks throwing nails wouldn't do carpentry. People, ha are they more or less likely to believe that that is a message I'm making up or that somebody actually typed? Probably less, right? They wouldn't describe that much creativity to me. Didn't know the briar armor hurts things when you roll? Oh, it does. Check this out. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. The winding rusted iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sentence of death. They also cause this armor to deal damage when performing dodge rolls. All right, so instead of the giant that usually defends Castle Morn with his bow larger than a truck, we have... Victory. I like it when it works out that way. Deathbird's the one that looks like Tweety but undead. Oh, I know, we just saw one, but I forget where there is one in Kaelid. Won't be there now anyway. He was doing his best. Should have been a revenant. Nothing should be a revenant. If there was a setting where I could take revenants out, I would take revenants out. Fuck revenants. God, I hate them. Are there items of these things or just poems? I forget. Also, can I sneak up on you or is that too hard? What's down there? <laughs> oh, I forgot that's an enemy. I thought of that as being like an environmental hazard. Of 
course it's an enemy. Of course it's a fucking enemy that might be put somewhere else. Good start, good start. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. The Siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero fights for his vengeance only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Sure. Only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Can this guy help me in the fight with Godfrey? I never looked when I played. This is actually exceptionally dangerous, because these things I remember just roll over you and destroy you. But there is an item there. I'd love to know if the item's any good. There's two items there. Kind of a lot going on in this area. Okay. Sweet miss. So this is hard. Pants night continues. Do you think this thing bleeds? I feel like it doesn't bleed. Not bad, not bad. Gotta love being chased by a sentient orb. Unlimited pants! Smithing Stone 2 is excellent. Juvenile Scholar Cap. Now there's a headpiece, and one that shouldn't interrupt our incredible hair, right? Perfect. Perfect! It protects our perfect hair. Nice. A five hours of pants prediction may have been true. I feel at this point like I've summoned it. The prisoner, anyone? <laughs> I'm not a number. I'm a free man. Hello, crab. Kind of a lot going on here. Very little of which I like. Are there items in here? There's so much going on in here. This place looks awful. I don't think it's worth my life to investigate very deeply. But I don't actually recall what's in here. Normally. Like, I don't remember if there's an item or nothing or what. Oh god, there's probably something up there, isn't there? Can I see? Can't tell. Let's take a run for it. There's one of those lightning orbs. Is there an item up there? I really can't tell. There is. Shit, what just stopped me? Okay! Let's leave all the yelling enemies now. Good shit. What's your character's name again? The Molding Sky. KFC is right. Left for like 20 minutes. What did I miss? Um, we found one of those sentient pinballs in the ocean. And we fought the cavalry. Who took the place of the death bird. There was the death cavalry. I fought him bravely. I beat him fair and square. Don't listen to anything anybody else tells you about that fight. It was quite the battle and I succeeded. You scarlet rot me. I just wanted to kill the guy with the torch for no real purple item. Oh, an Ionian butterfly. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Is there anything else around here? I really haven't done many catacombs. There should be tons of catacombs in this world, and I've just found very few of them so far. 
Can I hit you when I'm on my horse? Let's get off and be sure you die. He's telling the truth? Thank you! Should fight the death bird in the cavalry's place. Killed it with nails. Shaolin monks throwing nails don't do carpentry. We decided that as well. Everyone's agreed with me on that. There's an item being defended by an wolf. Can you sneak up on wolves or do they smell you? You can sneak up on wolves. Ash of War blood tax and another smithing stone too. The smithing stones as well, as you've probably noticed, are roughly right for the area. That stare. Hydro's never lying. I finally have the viewer response I'm looking for. Perfect. Perfect. You... Fucking hell. Just walked into you. I don't remember how to fight you. I'm carrying so many fucking runes, but we are right by... the fucking place. Stop saying fucking and just fight, Hydra. I sort of doubt this thing bleeds, right? This is the worst fucking camera. Yeah, target the body. That's better. I hope. Got him! How much damage? Holy shit, that's pathetic. Back down to my level. With a little less of an action than that. Go back down to my level calmly, you fuck. Jesus, I've never seen that attack before. level another knockdown anytime I can get one. Fucker. Ah, I rolled into it. It's the peck, man! It's the peck I can't see coming. It's too fast. I don't care if it wasn't a lot. I want every free visceral I can have. Escaped it! Didn't escape that. Didn't even try. Fucking hell, man. Close. Both of us are close to winning this! <laughs> My heart! I think I got greedy. We can dodge the peck now, though. I can kill him. I think I got greedy. You gotta go? Thank you so much for hanging out, successful messiah. Have a wonderful day, night, you know, whatever's going on with you. Have a good one, friendo! That's rough. Let's get our runes. Let's spend them on one level just so I'm not risking as much. And then we'll change it to night and fight that fucker again. And win! He was a real pecker. A death bird clutched it. Don't you A him! Whose side are you on, Samantha? 
All right, we got to level up int. Because we're going for 18 int. We are two levels away from 18 int, and then we'll be able to use the Alabaster Greatsword. Love how if you hit them in the head with holy damage, it's like four times. Yeah. This is probably a lot easier for... Oh, I gotta make it knight. A lot easier for me last time because I had the Cypher Peta. Like how the Knight's Cavalry and Deathbird got swapped. I don't. <laughs> then again, I guess the Deathbird had to show up at some point. When do I wish he showed up? Now is fine. It's fine. Can you two-hand the sword? Yes. I wonder if you can one-hand it. I assume you can, but I don't actually know. You can one-hand great swords, right? Early. Pack. Pack, pack, pack. That's new, and I just dodged it out of luck. I had no idea what was happening. Also a lucky dodge. You know what I miss a lot? I miss the, um, I forget what they're called, but the thing I had equipped, Talisman, that made my viscerals heal me and give me back, like, focus points. I miss that shit really badly. Can't wait to find those again. I just got knocked over by that, but it didn't hurt. Is that an attack that doesn't deal damage? Again, is that an attack that doesn't deal damage? Shit. Got lucky. Pex, pex, pex. We're in the lead now, but don't get cocky. In fact, I'm going to use a heal. <laughs> Fuck. Pax, Pax. You want to come over this way? We're moving more and more into a territory where there may be any enemies, and at least the camera is going to suck more. Slow! It's fucking slow, Hydro. How dare you? So slow every time! I know I didn't get hit, but I'm annoyed at the idea that if I'd not been in the right place, I would have. Come here! Yeah! Two tried him. Easy game. Easy fucking game. Easy fucking game. What do you have for me? I will take a somber smithing stone one. It's better than cloth pants. It's better than that. 5300 with a, an item we could probably level up to. How far off of a level are we? Just went and made a frozen burger that isn't past its expiration date, but still kind of looks sketchy, so I may get unalived. I hope you don't. Probably a small chance of that, but as soon as you feel unwell, go see the doctor. Good luck. Hope it's delicious. Should have finished him with that roll. Uh, level up requires 5915. Easily done. Easily done. Easily done. What's a golden rune 3 do? And done. One level away from our sword. One level away. Hope I remembered the stats correctly and we're not just leveling stupid shit. Okay. The Madness Village now? We do the Madness Village? I think we go to the Madness Village. I don't remember how to get up. I do remember how to get up there. <laughs> So 
So we'll do this, then the Madness Village. Sometimes things just come back to you, you know, when you see them again. <laughs> Fight with claws? I don't have any claw weapons, so I cannot. Apologies, friend. Ooh, we've got one of those two rexified dogs over there. Which, uh, which place is this? What is the... What is, what is the puzzle or something here? I need the book out front that tells me. Seek three wise beasts. All right, they wouldn't randomize those, right? No, 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 they wouldn't. They're still turtles and they're gonna be in the same places. I've forgotten where they were. One's like on the wall or on a tree or something, right? Oh, hello. Fuck the bang, Edward, or fuck the bang. He's not online on Twitch, so he has the gift sub. Grizzle, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. Mm, you're a viewer of your word. Three turtles. Oh, I recall. I will find the turtles. I'm just going to do it while really trying to avoid that T-Rex dog thing. What's waiting for me up here? The drip. The absolute drip of it. A tire of Moog, lord of blood, embroidered with an extravagant gold emblem on black cloth. The dress of a luminary, the reigning lord and hierarch of the coming dynasty of Moogwin. Or perhaps a raving lunatic. Same. Good shit. First time catching you live, glad to be here, good to have you here. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend, friendo. All right, wise beasts. Sorry, I got I I, was just, I went somewhere in my head for a second there. I'm looking for wise beasts. I'm focused. I'm here. I'm good. There's one. There you are. I went a little too far. One to go. There's one of these puzzles where it's hanging over the edge of like a cliff at one point, right? I remember that, but I think that's a later area. Still, I don't know, so I should check. If it is, I may have to throw things at it. I don't think I have any other ranged attacks. I got that bow. I don't know if I'm allowed to wield it, but I can try. I can wield it even if I don't have stats, right? I just do less damage with it. Just beat Commander Neil for the first time. It was rough. G fucking G. Good for you. Let me see. Uh, Neil is Neil. It, where? Which commander is Neil? Neil is. Oh, I don't have the map to gesture, but Neil is at the top of the castle in. Oh shit! I forgot the name of the zone. Which one's Neil? Dressed like an academy professor who snapped from too many badly written term papers. Castle Soul. I think I'm thinking of the right castle. Yeah, Neil took me a few tries. Neil's... Neil's not a pushover. Well fucking done. There's two. Commander Neil. Not Commander O'Neil. One's Neil and one's O'Neil, right? I'm starting to doubt this is the place where there's turtle just hanging out over the edge. Starting to doubt I've remembered this right. We'll have to go back and look elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. Let's go find the turtle elsewhere.
Giant's Mountaintops, I believe Niel is the Kaled one. Doing a Madness Frenzied Flame build, so I had a rough time. Dude, I tried Madness like once in the entire game. Are there any really good ranged Madness abilities? Because the one I had, the AoE Scream, it felt like I had to be hugging the person for it to affect them. I hated it. Are there significantly more useful ones than that available? He's the one whose prosthetic leg you steal? Okay. That's Castle Soul, right? But, oh, hey, you're right here. <laughs> this was the easy one, apparently. This tower was the easiest one. Oridis, uh, Oridis's Rise. Oridis's Rise, let's say. Do I have a torch yet in this game? No, good. Good. Torches are a crutch, I don't need one. Upward we go. Frenzied Burst is the best. Absolute laser cannon. I wonder if I ever got that on Hot Deli. I don't remember the name. Unless it's a human NPC, most enemies don't have madness buildup and bosses don't at all. Well, that's stupid. Saddening. Deeply saddening. Not a bad reward. I do need to be gaining levels, but an unexciting finish to the turtle hunt. Down we go. Silver tears are, for whatever reason, weak to madness, I found. I fought a silver tear just earlier tonight. He bled in two hits. And this is not built up bleed super fast on most enemies. I think it's got 55 bleed. Silver tears might be weak to a handful of things. Oh, I remember you. I remember that kind of enemy. They are slightly annoying. I see an Albinoric down there. There's some items, items hidden away in this area, aren't there? That was my 309. Okay, I'm not risking a lot going down here. Let's take care of you first because you fire a bunch of arrows and it's deeply unpleasant. Take care of you second, because you're in my face. Too slow, I'm too slow. Better? Get out of here. Uh, is it time for the big face now? I almost feel like it's time for the big face now. It's time for the bat now. Now I think it's time for the big face. But I wish the Alvin Orc wasn't standing right against him. Sweet, Vikes got drip. Um, so they have low bleed resistance, can take madness damage, etc. Alvin Orcs are so vague in the lore, I wish a DLC would come out eventually. They're glue men, they're made of glue. They sniff too much glue. Don't sniff glue where you'll turn into an Alvin Orc. They're a new mora morality tale for children. I haven't played Elden Ring in quite a while, I haven't beaten it yet, when need to already. In the second final section of the game, with the time dragons in the stormy section, crumbling Faramazula. Oh, I hope you're having a great time with that. Crumbling Faramazula was a challenge for me. Okay, this isn't going well, and I should back off a bit. Take care of some of these guys first. Good. Bad. Good. Good. Got him. I love Faramazula. I love Hallig Tree, though. I was about to say, Hallig Tree was okay with me, but actually, Hallig Tree was a really cool place, but it was full of revenants. So fuck the Hallig Tree from top to bottom, even if that was only one section. Faramazula was okay. It was a challenge, but I loved how it looked, so I didn't really mind too much. I had a wonderful time there. Now, do I get anything for killing you guys? Why did I do this? Why did I kill them? These are usually materials, aren't they? 
but they're not, nor have they been randomized into other random materials for me. Why did I kill you? Awkward. Didn't even get me that many... Hello there. Is this a catacomb or something? Faramazul is a beautiful setting, but made my madness bar almost max out IRL. Marius is executioner sword greater than. Alleg tree has three different sections of three crystallians at once, two of which are uh, rotten. I remember them. They were annoying. They were a slowdown, but crystallians never really bothered me too much. And I didn't really figure out the appropriate way to kill them. I would just rot them. Though the rotten ones were a different kind of challenge. Stop trying to roll me over. I have enough problem with the actual enemy enemies. Why are the birds after me now? Why is the wildlife here going crazy? I can't hit it. From horseback, at least. Come on. There we go. Hmm. I think there's a wolf over there in the bushes. Let's rush you instead of trying to play slow. That helps. I was right. My eyes did not deceive me. They did nerf Crystallians a ton. They used to take a lot more hits to poise break. I don't think I ever broke their poise, ever. I don't remember it, certainly. I backstabbed them sometimes. But I don't think I ever broke their poise. Got your first exam result? Do those big smiles mean you did well? Are congratulations in order? One stupid bird in Castle Soul was a bigger threat to me than some actual bosses. Hellish. Um, I don't feel like I want to deal with you. You stay right there. What have we got here? An A! G fucking G! Congrats, Lewis. I'm glad to hear that. Deserved, I'm sure. Which place is Castle Soul? Castle Soul is the castle up in the uh, mount, uh, Fire Giant mountaintops. At the far extreme north of the map. Okay. I do not recall what this place was like, but it's going to be totally different, so that's fine. What awaits me? It looks like uh, one of the... Misbegotten skeleton, beastmen, skeletons. Albinoric, spellcasting noble. Thank God your depth perception's awful. Oh shit, you're one of these ones. Come on. I am doing my best here, bud. Cut me some slack. You need to be killed extra, right? Yeah. We're playing kill confirmed with this enemy. This looks like the dead end. We'll check this first for loot. Slug. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Hello? Oh, right. How does this work again? Oh, shit. Um. Well, let's see if I can figure it out in time. Fucking hell. Uh. Thank God we got this cloth cap. Where am I trying to go now? Oh, I think I remember this. Group's average is only 55%, which makes your result even better. That's shocking. Excellent work. 
This is where we go. Albinoric, poison guy, poison plant, and a wolf. All right. Something else over there. Could anyone even tell what that was? Sorry, are you still alive? So noble the way you stood up straight. So graceful. You're back alive again. Wait, 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 wait. I forget these enemies. How do you kill them? What the fuck is happening? I have to go near the big thing. What the hell is this? Oh, I literally don't know what that is, but there's someone here like, read the fuck is happening! Just get away from it, just get away from it, doesn't matter, just get away from it, we're just here for items. We're just here for items. Oh, come on! Ah. He can't fit in there. I can see him clipping through it right now. I can see him being inappropriate there right now. You guys climb ladders? Right. Can you come over this way, please? So I might have a chance of avoiding you. You literally can't move, can you? Dude, I'm so fucked. <laughs> Quick, uh, memorize the map. Where's the end? How do I get through this thing? He's clipping. He's clipping. Okay. All right. And that's how you do that. I'm gonna refresh myself before we go in and see what the boss is. And then we'll go in and see what the boss is. Enemies keep spawning that area, but normally they're super slow zombies. This mod is a trip. Can I get a level before we go in or not? How much does a level cost? I have some high level rune, uh, rune things I could crack. I would need 4,500. That might be possible. I need 2,000. Why didn't it tell me how much that gave me? Is that enough? It's 6277, right? 672, close enough. Hell, yes. What's better than going into a blind random boss? It's a random boss blind and going in with a new weapon you don't know how to play with. What is better than that? Big Bear was so upset. This is where you pull out and uh, a bow and bleed arrows to kill his big enemies. Big Bear. Papa Bear. <laughs> Papa Bear thought the hallway was too small. The Molding Sky agreed the hallway was much too small. I'll laugh if it's Melania. I'm not sure she can show up here. I think she's switched with other big bosses, but... I don't know for sure. Let's find out. How do I get out my summon? Where did my summon go? Oh right, I hold Y for my summon, that's how it works. 
That's how it works. Um, Aired Tree Burial Magma Worm. At least it's a nice big arena for that. Really nice big arena for this. Please stop. You're such an ass, you know that? I've never told you you are an absolute ass. Should have recognized that. I'm just not used to seeing it from this side. How much damage do I get for a knockdown? Not good, not bad. Not impressive. Does that have an upswing? No. For a sec, I thought the magma wouldn't go away before I was if before he uh, got it back up, and then I wouldn't get anything out of that. Oh, I don't have any uh, mana for that. FP. He's not gonna try to stand up in here, is he? It doesn't seem like he's going to. Are we doing this multiple times? How many times are we doing this? Thank you for being done with that. <laughs> Crap. Him. One shot, baby. Flamberge, good shit. Easy motherfucking game. Pants night, good night. Yeah, at least it wasn't Rygard. Tree Sentinel, oh god, that's not a catacombs boss. If Melania gets switched with Radigan, where you can summon a bunch of allies and you're the luckiest man alive, yeah, but think of the arena in which I'd be fighting Radigan. Or Radon. Or Radigan. Radon. Radon. You meant Radon, right? Love the flame bears. And I've got Sombers to upgrade. Yes, I do. I think I like this weapon. I think I like this weapon just fine. Should probably go try out its uh, special ability once to be sure it looks at all useful, but I think I like this weapon just fine. Please, 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 would you give me back my FP? All right, then. It's pretty big. Is there like just a regular enemy down here? I already forgot what enemies are down here. Yes, there's um an Albanoric and a couple of the other guy. There's a couple enemies here. I want to try it against them real quick. See how effective it seems. Seems all right. And if I could also just quickly get to uh, 3000, I could go buy a golden seed and I would love that. Not there yet. If I could just get to 3,000. Oh, this is the crunchy room. I'll have to go all the way back through if I go down there. But 
gonna have to go all the way back around. I think we'll just hit the site of Grace, respawn them, and kill them one more time to get to 3,000. Oh, actually, I'm also gonna need some... Shit. I'm gonna need some to upgrade my weapon, which we should do first. Let's go upgrade our weapon. Then I'll earn the 3,000 to buy uh, the golden seed later. Flambearers with Seppuku Ash of War and Occult uh, Scaling makes it insane. Occult Scaling? Basically cheese build. I think so, it's been a while. You have to forgive me for getting some characters switched up. No worries. Memories as randomized as this playthrough? Same, and I don't have any excuse. If you fight Melania in Radon's place, you can gun her down. Will the merchants still buy your random crafting items? Probably. All right, where am I headed? Over this way. Uh, is D here yet, by the way? No, I need to do Kenneth's quest. Another step or two, don't I? D is not here. Uh, and I'm doing upgrades, not getting a hug. Well, have you beaten Margit yet? No. Fighting. Nor have I beaten the fire Since giant who's day. standing in Margit's place. What level are you? No clue. Lay out your arm. I'll show you in a second. Somber Smithing Stone 1, we'll take this up to... Yeah, these upgrades look more like it. This will go up by a good deal. Nice. Thank you. Let's do it again. Good shit. Real damage now. Real damage. We are level 32. It's like the katana and Kaelid. Y'all know what hugs do? Break your spirit. Bear got a hug? Why not dear Fia? <laughs> can drop off some things here. Don't really need to, but can. Good shit. We have quite an expanded shop here now. That's nice. We have 1,000 plus Mark of the Beast runes. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, where are we going to now? The west side of uh, this area, I think. Didn't you get a plus seven gold rune? Uh, what? I think I used it already. You have dark stones? Maybe, I didn't notice. Remember I had to temp switch my mage build into a foreign melee? Foreign melee? Huh? Bleed build that I wasn't familiar with and summon some help from Melania. That's literally the last thing I remember doing in Elden Ring. Did you manage it? I had to play completely differently for her too, yeah. I had to change a whole lot to beat her. That's one of those dangerous birds, isn't it? I don't like those birds. We're going to try and sneak up on that bird in a minute. Rather than have a fair fight with it. It's standing on its blades, isn't it? Yeah, I hate these birds. Fuck them. Harp bow. Cool. Bunch of random guys hanging around here. Pick one, kill them. Let them know who's the strongest around here and not to mess with you. That's all you really need there. That's all you need to do. Oh, shit. <sighs> How tough are you? Oh, hey. You don't have a lot of poise. I never realized that. I thought you were... I thought because of your size, you'd have a lot of poise. Not too bad with the health scaling. Not too bad at all. We've got another basilisk here. A jar friend. An arrow guy. A golden fucking knight. There's kind of a lot going on here. That is a good ability! That is a very good ability! 
We are gravity build now. Alright, this time you're gonna stay down. Good shit. See ya. Back away, because I think you may explode. No. Lucky us, lucky us. Oh dog, oh dog, oh dog! Been waiting on your Melania highlights, like it's the big premiere of a blockbuster, can't wait. It's gonna be a little while, but they are worth the wait, if I do say so myself. It's gonna be a little while because, uh, I'll give you a hint, I did not immediately understand how to use the elevators. I'll leave it at that. And by not immediately, I mean it took a long time. Yeah, there are shorts from Melania, but seeing extended highlights and getting a real sense of how long it was, that will take some time to get to. But there's a handful of clips and shorts if you'd like to see them now. Are you going to try Margaret again this stream? I think you could kill him now. I think I probably could too. Maybe I should. I don't know. Samantha, what do you think? Should I continue exploring this systematically or should I go back and try the fire giant again? Should we do things in order or should we go after the fire giant for fun? Where'd that rat go? How far did that rat fall? I think I see it moving around down there. There you are. Nice, all I did was clear the obstacles for him. What enemy is usually out here standing on the cliff edges? I hate those bats, man. Oh, I've said that about so many enemies. Castle Morn, then Fire Giant. Castle Morn's gonna take a little while. If we do Castle Morn, I doubt we'll get back to the Fire Giant in the same stream. It's possible, but I sort of doubt. Nice. I think one of the best things they added in this game was the ability to randomly, or when you see the scarabs knowingly, go refresh your heals while out battling. I think that's really cool. Dude, you have a lot of health. Did you know that about yourself? Because that surprised me. Those heat seek better than I thought. Did you know that? Because that surprised me. Hang on. Are there like items left around here I need? Or can I get the fuck away from these freaks? I think we got everything we need. I don't, I don't think I need to spend more time hanging around this area. Let's get the fuck out of here. Castle Morn, Fire Giant, depends on what's the boss waiting for you at the end. That's true. Castle Morn would be a surprise. Fire Giant, we know is Fire Giant. Did I already come up here? I did. This thing just guides you to the catacomb. I didn't walk all the way up here. But I was up here to do the other thing. These don't... I don't really recall. You just can't use these if you've done the catacomb, right? Yeah, they don't give you anything. You just can't use them. Might be able to see the boss at the end before you even start the castle if it's a biggin. Oh, uh, we were standing on the coast and looking that way. I didn't see anything. I'm not sure if it didn't load or if it was just too small, but... Couldn't see anything, so no idea what's waiting there. Figured out summons in the open world yet? Uh, yes. Don't like a time to go the same boss multiple times. Very, very hard on myself for these type of games. Uh, I understand that instinct. I mean, if possible, I would say you should be less hard on yourself. You should work on that. But I understand that, that feeling, that sense, that way of playing. At least Melania makes sense to find in any boss since she's a conqueror. Did you give that one scroll you found a while ago to Selen? No, I have not been back to Selen. So I have not. Am I up to 3,000 yet? No.
Does this path go right up to that air tree? Because there could be something really nice there. Let's go to that minor air tree. See what awaits. A soldier of Godric been killed. Missed part one, but it would be hilarious if he was the last boss instead of the Elden Beast. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen Soldier of Godric yet, so they are still possible. Oh, I have to follow this path all the way around, don't I? Thought it was going to be more direct than this! Jesus Christ, camera, don't kill me. I just wanted a quick slash on my way by, but the targeting was still holding on as I passed. That scared me. Oh, I you know what I didn't think about? The possibility someone's going to be guarding this. Well, you know, that's the fun of a randomizer. I forget what you are. Are you bad? Are you good? Are you hard? Are you easy? I remember what you are. God, you're so much taller than I remember. I thought for a second that was something bipedal with tiny legs and tiny arms. No, I know what that is. I'm doing this a lot, but do you think we can run around him and get the item? Shit, bud. That guy was a nightmare the first playthrough, and I don't think magic damage was the answer, was it? Where's the item? I want to get the item, then I want to hit them once and see what happens. But I want to get the item. Is there an item? You have the item, don't you, you loot bastard? You're holding on to it, aren't you, enemy? Aren't you big ol' fucking enemy? Crap. It's one from Gelmir, your toast. If it's one from the cave, you might be able to do it. Well, enemies are scaled for their new locations. So if it's the one from Gelmir, it will have lower stats, though it will have the same annoying moveset. I think we try this on our horse to begin with. Also, can I summon friends, or am I? do I not have enough? I don't have enough. got some health on you. Not bad damage. Pretty bad, but it's not uh, horrendous or anything. Fuck off, I forget what this is. Okay. Thirty percent done. Fucking hell. It takes forever after swinging to be allowed to jump, by the way. Never realized that. Ow. It's unlikely to be damaged much by gravity, seeing as it's a gravity enemy, right? I mean, it looks heavy. Gravity should affect it, like, more, yes? More importantly, I don't want to get off my fucking horse, though, so we won't find out. Heal. Good shit. I 
I see, I couldn't jump then. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude! Awkward. It's really funny if you kill him and he drops like a piece of a gold mask set. It's very possible. Anything could happen. Let's go get my runes. The fuck was that? My death. My ignominious death. My pathetic blasting at the jaws of a gravity beast. Alright, I'm gonna make a note and come back to this guy with a little more damage, because that was a slog and I think I should fight him on foot in the second half, which will be even slower. So we're gonna have to say that the falling star beast is at the Weeping Peninsula Minor Aired Tree. I'll come back for that later. Weapon's not bad, though. This is the Mount Gelmir one. You can see the hole in front of its face. Are they both called Falling Star Beast as well? I thought only one was called the Falling Star Beast, and the other had a similar name, but not quite the same. Anyway, yeah, it's the Mount Gelmir one. What a delight. What a great, great time. Giant ant over there. Guarding an item. You don't spit, do you? I hate the ants that spit. Got a snake man from Volcano Manor. And a wolf? I think we should try and kill the wolf quickly. Or maybe the snake man will come after us before the wolf sees us. Yeah, that works. Come back later as well with how beefy his health is. What I think is called full grown falling. This one's normally the full grown. Oh, I see. So when we get to its place, there'll be something else called full grown. Full grown Melania. That is quite enough of that. That is so much more than enough of that. Get the fuck out of here. Let's practice timing. Three, two, one. Heavy. I suck. Fully grown Godric. At least it's only the enemies from Elden Ring. If it mixed them in from the other games, we could have fully grown continuous discharge from Dark Souls 1. We're getting off light. You never stop, do you? Mm, it'll take a second for my poison to bottom out, then I should be able to kill it. I just need to land one hit in the right spot. <sighs> good to catch the live stream. Love the content. Have a good night. Have a fantastic night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, friendo. Hope to see you in future. It never stops. My poison stops, though. There we go. Good shit. Slumbering Egg and the Malformed Dragon Helm. What a delight. Ooh, so pretty. Use the skill, what, the gravity skill? That might have reached far enough, didn't it? Not sure. Could have given it a try, though. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's the tower where you get teleported somewhere else. That is always a good time. Hello, everybody. You all hanging around one of those invisible ashes of war scarabs, are you? I think you are. We got 3,000. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and buy that nomadic merchant's... I think it was this one? Um, Golden Seed, we are going to get ourselves a six heal, and we're going to go see how this does against the fire giant, this new weapon. Now that you've said something about it, I wonder what an ultimate FromSoft death game would look like where it takes enemies from each of their famous games. It would be 
horrific. I would try it, but it again. good God, it would be horrific. This, please. Thank you. Let's go apply that. It's my first, so I should only need one, right? Yay. All right, then. Let's take care of business with our new weapon. I don't really know how the fire giant feels about magic damage. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Let's do this, Roger. You know what's really interesting about this game is it doesn't have, um... No, I'm being silly. Sekiro and Bloodborne didn't have a sort of alive and dead state the way the Dark Souls games did. That's just a Dark Souls thing, not a From Software thing. You know, they don't have humanity and a hollowed and all that. But that's just Dark Souls. This doesn't seem much better. But we'll keep at it. Can I get near his head when he does the when he's going down here? It seems like not. So I wasted that stun time. Shit. Another knockdown is good. I forgot to summon. We can summon two. Four to get four against one. Oh my god. What? Oh yeah, there's a wave. Okay, but we can do this. We can do this. Shame you can't just yeet off the bridge during a roll. Real shame. Doesn't seem like a safe spot to stick a friggin' giant. Is this bridge gonna hold? It's granite, we'll be fine. I have no idea. No clue. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, Roger. Here we go. And then I summon as quickly as I can. Grab these for the hell of it. Dodge that attack. <laughs> Should have a knockdown in a second here. My heavy strike's pretty strong. Fuck her. Oh, not this shit. I hate this attack. Wait, my heavy attack did fuck all there. All right, who's the fire after? Don't fall off the edge yourself, Hydro. Stay safe. Stay safe if possible. Thou art Fuck off. I thought that was just a stomp. We still have two companions, Samantha. One of the summons died, but the other summon and Roger are still here. Still have companions! Shit! Oh my god, it's just us! No, no, Rush Air's here, Rush Air's here, Rush Air's here.
So we're like well past halfway and we haven't gotten the video. So we're not going to be fighting Fire Giant Phase 2, right? Is there a different boss fight that's just going to be Fire Giant Phase 2? What if Renala is like, Renala 1 is Fire Giant 2 and Renala 2 is Melania 2? I don't know what could happen. I've won, but I'm just all the more worried. Memory Stone is a good get. I need to get some talismans and ones that don't just make every enemy want to kill me, but Memory Stone's a good get. Smoldering with thy meager flame. Cower in fear of the night. The hands of the fell omen shall brook thee no quarter. Oh, go fuck yourself, fire giant. Dumb fire giant. GG, easy game, let's go! If the boss has a second phase, when you get to it, it'll be a different boss, I say. That's a good question. What happens to the cutscene bosses? Apparently someone else comes in. We'll see eventually. Made it to Stormbell, Samantha. <laughs> Go us. A little ostentatious, by the way. This castle, I feel. Just a bit. Just a bit. Um, We should spend these on something. What should we spend them on? Inter Vigor? I mean, I actually only have one level, don't I? Let's get Vigor to 20. Let's get Vigor up to 20 now. All right, you know, as soon as we can, and then we'll worry about other stats, possibly. How many second phase bosses are there, even? Melania, Fire Giant. How many actually have cutscenes? Melania, Fire Giant, ah, I forget the rest. Stormville, built storm tough. Should go through the main gate a lot faster, but more dangerous. Try to decide if I should do more work here before going that way. I kind of want to do this stuff for more items before going that way, items and levels. Oh shit, I didn't go up to this little church. And check out these ruins. Hmm. Can't decide what to do. Let's do the uh, Madness Village while I think about it. Let's do the Madness Village right now. Godric Renala and Malakath. How do I get to the Madness Village? Straight across here and... Yes, I remember, this way. The way I was asking the Death Bird not to back up into. Usually there's no enemies out front and there's madness rats behind this place, as I recall. Nope, there are things waiting to ambush me. The sorcerers! They've gone mad! Easy. Easy game. I didn't even see what item I picked up because I was killing them. Anything else around here? Now we're good. All right, into the village then. We can go straight into the road into the village. It's fine. I know it's lined with enemies. That's fine. We're going to have to get off our horse for this one. Because I'm going to want to strike him on the ground. Where's that bat? Nice! Easy. Hello there. And goodbye. What even are you? I don't remember those guys. They must have been a small part of the game. 
or a horrific part of the game that I blocked out of my memory. Either or. Could be both. The small part of the game is so horrific I blocked it out of my memory. I'm being closed-minded here. It could very easily be both. Okay, what's going on, village? Is that an omen killer? That worries me a little bit. Getting to and killing the omen killer before anyone else knows I'm here. Oh, it's not an omen killer. You're a regular guy. I got the wrong impression. Good shit. Not hard at all. Clean Rock Greaves. Excellent. Excellent! Mogus, the second phase of that cutscene, too. There are definitely a lot of bosses that have second and third phases without cutscenes. That list would be extensive. I wonder if it would be a majority of bosses in the game. Probably not if you include Catacombs bosses and stuff, but the major bosses. All or almost all of them have multiple phases, right? They change up their strats and things, even if you don't get a cutscene for it. Well, hello there. You spawned in the wrong village, motherfucker. I can only apologize for your loss. Oh, I hate these guys. Too much health on them. Though his scaling made him a lot easier. I don't really remember where enemies are in this village. I just remember there were a lot. I've now killed a lot. Is it empty? Is there even anything else to find around here? Loot or enemy wise? We'll go into that church or whatever those ruins are in just a second. I think that's kind of it, right? Okay, let's go up to those ruins. It's possible to get the right boss in the same area. I don't know. I'm going to assume not, but I really don't know. I think if I was programming it, I would make that impossible. That's the reason I assume that. But uncertain. Imagine, but unlikely. Unlikely, but it is possible. I don't like one of them being here. The rest doesn't look bad. Let's start clearing out enemies. Help me, please. Where is my range? Oh my god, you poisoned so quickly. Dude, the first half of my bar I didn't even see ticking up. It was just there suddenly. Ah, shit. Okay, now this is very fun. I was supposed to be hitting you with a backstab, you fuck. The last second you apparently heard me. Have I got any antidote items? No, okay. Can I craft any antidote items? No, okay. Good. Hello! I hate worm faces. Not a big fan of them. Actually, they're out of there right now. <laughs> what you got going on inside here? Hello, jar friend. Level 5 rune. Nice. And a sacred tear. Wait, that's just appropriate. I've been ripped off. Where's the excitement? Okay, so everything in this village. 
We're moving right along. We're getting shit done. We're unlocking stuff. All right, there's a cave down in there. Bunch of ruins and stuff. I know I'm still poisoned, by the way. Um. Hmm. Well, I keep looking over because I'm thinking about the time because I have extra video editing and prep to do tonight. I could stay up later for it, but I think we're going to wrap up, actually. I think we'll wind down and wrap up. And next weekend, we will probably do the Weeping Peninsula, the rest of it, as well as move into Stormvale. That's what I would expect. Uh, stream should be at the same time next weekend. 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time on Sunday. Between now and then, I've got two streams on Twitch that I'm planning. It would be four, but I've uh, got a corporate retreat going on this week, so I won't be around from Wednesday through Friday. Usually, I would stream Monday right through Thursday. This week, we're just getting Monday and Tuesday, 7 o'clock on Twitch, where I will be playing possibly Darkest Dungeon. I think I'm, because I'm in the middle of that. There will be more Darkest Dungeon at some point. I think, though, one or both days, I might try something else. But I haven't yet decided what to start. We'll have to see. In four hours already, that it has. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm not sure what to play. Most importantly, though, thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you for your generosity with your time, with your money, with your attention, with chatting with me, with lurking with me. I appreciate all of you equally. I really do. Uh, I hope you had a fantastic time. I did. We got a fuck ton done. We got a brand new weapon. I kind of wish it looked cooler. Did I mistake the image? It looks smoother in the image. It looks cooler to me in the image. Does this... Hang on. Does this look cooler at night? Even though it's not quite what I thought it would be aesthetically, this new weapon seems good. It seems good. So I'm real pleased with that. And we got pants. We got pants and a hat. What am I trying to do? Pass time until night. So it's been a good fucking stream. All right, show me this weapon. It hardly looks like night. It stands out at night, but it doesn't like glow or anything. It's fine. It's fine. You just followed me on Twitch? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. My Twitch, by the way, for anyone who needs to know, is twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. You can also find me by going to Twitch and just searching RX underscore Hydro. The underscore is somewhat important. Um, let me tell you what's going on this week here, because you're going to see a lot of big videos showing up on this channel. I have another Elden Ring highlights video that I'm making on my other channel, the one just called RX Hydro here on YouTube, that is scheduled for next Saturday. I am trying, this is a long shot, but I am trying to finish an extra highlights video of Forspoken, which if I can finish it would be on... Wednesday, Thursday, and if I don't get it this week, it'll be a later week, but I'm trying to do it this week to make up for not having as many streams. What I already have ready are all six of my Alien Isolation streams. Uh, my first playthrough of Alien Isolation are already uploaded to this channel, and they will start coming out one at a time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this week, you will see uh, six like three, four, and five hour Alien Isolation streams. I think they're a lot of fun. I know it's not the same as watching live, but if you're looking for more of my content, there will be a fuck bunch. You Forspoken, Forspoken is goofy. I really enjoyed it. I thought the game was good. It's not great. I specifically just went, I'm doing the plot. I'm not doing anything. I want to see just the plot and then you can get me out of here. And I had a good time. It is a very... 7 out of 10 game. A very 6 or 7 out of 10 game. I had fun. But think of it this way. If I put up the VODs, if I put up the highlights, you can see it all without playing it. Alien Isolation Pog? Yes, that's more Hydro. I hope you enjoy. All right, everyone. Take care. I hope I see you on Twitch between now and next weekend, or I see you here next weekend. But whether I do or don't, even if you don't catch another live stream, uh, thanks so much. Take care of yourselves. Be safe, happy, healthy. Um, eat. An entire pizza and a whole box of cookies sometime this week because it's a bad idea, but it's really fun while you're doing it. Also, feel free to ignore that. You know your health better than I do. Night, everybody!